Okay, the rate your music on a scale of one to ten. Anything under a five. <laughs> about to start the show right now not waiting at all about to start playing music about to start letting people know i'm live but i want to get to the music so it's not wasting any more time uh, excuse me let's get right to the music we got out young breeze why don't you set it off anything under a five goes in the trash rate this in the comments on a scale of one to ten Let's get right to the music. Welcome to Rich House Abuse, the Riddles Review Show on the net. Nigga, where your song at, bro? Right now. Get that right, get that right now. Welcome to Rich House. Who the fuck told you? You was better than YB. Jokes on you. Try to leave me for dead. I probably put the rope on you. Let the ligature spread neck and put the choke on you. Damn. I never been way too concerned what other niggas think. Because most of them dirty like dishes in the fucking sink. Back when my president was. Break this in the comments on the scale of one to ten. I was still on a hundred and everybody knew. I never let you get over me. I'm a whole boy. Now I'm going to let everybody know I'm live. And I get your soul gone. Michael Jackson with the hook. I left your nose off. Ratchet bitch had a baby shot with the way I go. Off. Another body freestyle, somebody get the reference. My shit gross like hot dogs at 7 Eleven. I heard that God got a long letter line. We live on Rich House Reviews on YouTube. Pray that I don't ever fall. Anything under a five? Shit, I never wanted to witness. If you hating on me, shit made that your own decision. Cause most of those is opinions. I don't give a fuck. You niggas ain't pay my bills, so I'ma live it up. I wish me dug a hole and she would lay in it. Fill that hole up with hog spit and play in it. That dumb kind of hole goofy with a wide coochie. A mouse face, dumb tats, and old woman booty. She got trained off a pill when a cup of honey. Uh, I started crying like this. Rapists in the comments on the scale one to Only good thing I got's my daughter. Now she getting slaughtered. She calling every nigga daddy that just ain't her father. My cousin X called like, yo, I know this hella wrong. But look, I've been talking to your baby mom. <laughs> I got the laughing like... Cool, nigga, good luck. You tried to hit me up, knowing I don't give a fuck. You ain't the only family member. No way in the day. She ran through the whole group, pretty Ricky shit. Damn, I'm spitting bar bars. This shit is pretty sick. Somebody send this shit to join it, because this shit is lit. Somebody hit Millie's up like, yo, I need a feature. I whip coke on the pad and spit this shit like Ethan. Got Rate this in the comments on the scale of one to ten. I play the uninvited guests like I'm raw death. Down to 40 and take a piss on your front doorstep. I run my state from Brattleboro past Dorset. Gunning for the fucking shit. And I need more checks, more music for the streets and shit. They get these hoes wet. I got a team way stronger than most. My niggas stick to the script like peanut butter on toast. I write music, do business like well with the bros. Try and get some KK from the west side of the coast. So tell Wiz I need a whole pound. My niggas eating, it's enough bread to go around. But I won't rate this in the comments on a scale of one to ten. Theft Auto. I shoot a bunch of shit, they get my hands on the chips. For the grip, I take all steps by emailing people. Said, you come across my foot. Letting people know I'm live. Very Street religion till a nigga pass Until then I'm on y'all niggas ass Pause Young Breeze Is the name of the artist um, I'm gonna give him a five I think he had mediocre bars I mean mediocre bars are cool I mean but for the most part we want to hear people that actually Have good impressible bars You know what I'm saying like they weren't really impressive Um, They were mediocre Um, Very mediocre all right. Um. So, I have no clue. Like, I'm gonna give him a five. I'm. I guess I'm being nice. We rate music on a scale of one to ten. Anything under a five goes in the trash. Uh, it's all right. I guess. I mean, I don't see me going. Hey, five minutes from now, I want to listen to it. So, I'm just gonna give him a five. I mean, being honest is the whole point of us being here, right? So, yeah, we'll get a five, and that's pretty much it. I don't really see the, you know, it's a freestyle, a little freestyle he did. That's cool. You know, a little freestyle in 2024 is cool. 
All right. I'm trying like what I meant to do today. I didn't do. I was supposed to just go live. And that's kind of what I'm going to really want to just get in the rhythm of doing. It's just going live while I'm live. I'm literally cutting on other platforms, letting other people know that I'm live. And that's it. I'm not waiting. I'll be waiting too long and shit. I'm going to email people and all this shit. But right now, I just want to make sure that people are making their way to where I'm live at. That's the main thing. As long as they know that's where I'm at, I'm good. I'm good with that. All right. What did you guys feel about that last song? Matter of fact, I think he had a little bit more bars on there. Well, rated on the scale of one to ten. Everybody hey, Chris. Baby mama ain't shit. She won't let me see my daughter, huh? And the new nigga talking a lot, but he don't really want to war with us. Pussy, I move like a warrior. Street religion, them is all my blood. Listen, bro, if you ain't got your bitch, then she's jumping in the car with us. How are you doing a song about your your girl's baby, your girl's new guy, and your quality's not good? Like, that is insane. Like, you're telling us that it's up on him but your quality is not even there like how are you that's when you're supposed to show out why would you and then it sounds like it's mad echo it's hella echoey if you agree right echo in the comments it's hella echoey Sweet girl, I am marvelous. She tucking down, I'ma chalk him up. The live wire at the dead party don't pray pills off a party bus. Whoa. Oh, I know what it is. It's them new studios, the new studio. See, when people don't got mics no more, what they doing is they picking up the um, you know, they they pick up the uh the, the bowl and just rap straight into the bowl, and that's how I sound when you rapping the bowl. Listen, tell me, pass me the clock. Whoa, put a couple on this thing, girl. Got some new threads from Australia. I'm tripping on you bloody wankers. I am not a fan of leg shots. I'm a aim to make your brain crazy, baby. Did he just say Australian and say bloody wankers? Like, what do you? You've never been to Australia before in your life, sir. Mama had a small with the mouth, and she jumped in the brain first. Got a problem with the dun dot? Tell him memorize my name first. It's on me on sorry piece, sweater, but it's all men on the same shirt, yeah. I don't got chill, I don't got feel, but I got white coming on the plane. I got the fish, I got the chill, I hit the booth, blow the field, the tail the roof, knock out the seal, and I'm in this bitch feeling like a million. Ooh, we skinny biggie in a cool G. Sneak this to catch a two piece. Free bread till it's bad word. You heard a nigga to burn free. I'm a cool nigga, but don't tempt me. The heater put a nigga in. He go ahead, think she is sweet. Get a nigga twisted like Z. No matter what you do, or how much you try, you'll never. All right, what I think I need to do right now is let me just start emailing some people because, like, I don't want to start off on the bad foot, like, what, what the quality of music and, like, that song was just not, it's just not the time for that. Like, we passed that time. Um, I think that the song didn't really make any sense. The song didn't really grab my attention at all. It didn't really do anything for my vibe at all. It didn't do anything. So the fact that it didn't do anything for my vibe means that I can't, like, stand on it and go, yeah, I like it. I don't like it. I think that the shit is ass. Um, I think that it's outdated. Both of the whatever little remixes you did, the shits was outdated. And, yeah, scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give both of them shits a probably, like, a 2 at the most. I give you a 2. A two at the most sounds great. A two at the most sounds perfectly great. That's exactly what I think I'm gonna get at, nigga. And get the fuck on. Today I just went live and I'm about to not about to, I'm actually about to start emailing people and shit. But right now I really want just people to just start knowing that when I'm live, just come over here. You know, that's really it. I want that. You guys ready for the next song, everybody? Everybody ready for the next live? I need everybody to write ready in the comp. If you ready for the next song, everybody write ready in the comments so we can keep the shit going. Okay, I'm going straight to next song. I don't even know what the next song is. Why? Because I'm not a fucking DJ. I just randomly pick songs that y'all sent in to play. Like Snow Montana, you up with a song called Alaska. I made it a goal to be more active this year, and with that comes a lot of showers. Native sweaty wash is... Oh, my God. Anything under a five? Oh. Wow. Aye. I'm about to email people. 
You know I get you a shoot at your silhouette. Fuck you on beef, you unstable. I got a plug for the switches for sticks in the city. You niggas, you ain't fucking with me. Uh-huh. Nigga, you play, you get put in the coffin. This shit hits you fast like that boy from the dolphin. I got a problem with why twitching the drink and we're breaking down hundreds of perks. Huh? When I'm at public, I go up that vibe on a clutch. So fuck nigga, try. Uh-huh. He talk crazy, trying to see what he talk about. My bitch with Lee could shoot up the parking lot. Swerving the crab and it be body breathing. My hair, what I did is just dirty. Whole city know that I'm dirty, get dirty. It be the bitch with a lunch with titty. She is the dick with who's such a precision. She gag and she fit. She might lose a kidney. He mad about it, bitch. No, I shoot the city. Mad about your twin and you know that I did it. And if you smoke, then you know that I'm with it. I have out of walking, Michelle catch a mention. I'm all out the window, look dead double with it. She all in my missions. I thought they should get it. I got a few fish in the city. That bitches, I got a few butters. Oh, blicky, that switches. I'm tending the trenches with choppers and pills. When the rain is gonna we leave blood and snow. No one she told us it. Hell of a throw, y'all gon' die, we gon' die, that's just high as it go, bitch, I'm ready for one, that's just zero to scope. I ain't doing that talking, just letting you know. I beat for whoever, whatever, whenever I dance with the devil, say here's with the demons. I think that she love me, she rash right. in my pranks, getting at me wrong, and I'm busting the 30. I dunk out two mags and I'm rocking the 30, ain't coming shit down, my nigga. It's worth it, you cribbing the killing. Four nigga with jizzing, you blazing the blick, and my nigga quit bitch. Yeah, 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 uh, you know I get you a shoot at your silhouette. Fuck you on beef, you on I got a plug for the switches for sticks in the city. You niggas, you ain't fucking with me. You ain't fucking nigga. You play, you get put in the coffin. This shit hits you fast like that boy from the dog. I got a problem with why twitching the drink and we're breaking down hundreds of all I hear is how about that? Yeah, 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 I'm trying to hear some. All I hear is I don't need any, I don't need any, I don't know who. And like the main thing is for me to at least be honest. Like if you could at least get an honest opinion on what I'm saying, I'm happy with that. If you could at least get that, but it's it sounds like a, like you're doing a lot. Like you're doing. A lot like you're probably straining yourself your vocals cause like there's no way that you can do that consecutively over and over and over and think you're gonna really you know so i just think that st- like your approach on a song is already wrong where it's like the melody that you pick maybe you might, might need to pick a different melody because that melody ain't gonna suffice and it ain't gonna suffice for a lot of people and that's really the main thing See, I'm just here to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? You could really go, oh, I don't want to hear your opinion. Cool. You entitled to your own thing. It's cool. But if you want to hear my opinion, I'm going to be very honest and brutal and tell you the truth. Uh, I think you should go with a different melody. The beat is actually good, but it's no point of having a good beat. When it's... I don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? I don't understand. But, uh, you know, somewhere in the world, there are some artists that want to get reviewed right now. And I know that they're looking at the info on the screen and they can make a decision to send their music in. Um, I give that last song a 1.5. Get ready for the next song. Everybody right ready. I'm emailing people that sent their music in and shit. Uh, yeah, I think tomorrow I'm actually about to start with like a schedule of time. I think I'm going to start doing like 12 or 1 on the West Coast time. And I think I'm going to start doing a scheduled time. Um, Because I think people just don't know when the fuck I'm live. It's like a whole weird thing. And then TikTok being so slow like they is right now. You never know. Like, you got people asking me, when am I going live? Like, I don't have a mic in my hand right now. I'm live right now. I decided to just go live. I just said, I'm tired. Go live. Said, I don't want to wait. Go live. And I think I need to get on that type of a vibe. Just go live to people that literally want to um come to the show are going to be online. And they'll see that I'm live. I don't know what I'm doing. And they can send their music in now. And I just emailed some people. 
to let them know that I'm live. Hold on one second. Uh, hey, if you want TikTok, could you share the live up or something over there? Um, I'm going to tell y'all a story about TikTok in a second because, yeah. TikTok definitely be like a, a fucking headache for no reason. All right. Okay. Um, I emailed some people to let them know that I'm live. Other than that, I want to just see who wants to get on here while I'm live anyway. Last song, I gave it a 1.5. Not impressed. Next song, Double Blessed. Break this in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10. The artist named Tone. Anything under a 5. <laughs> If you got the notification, you got uh, common sense today. It's a blessing, I ain't stressing no more. Two pretty red bone scissors while I roll my weed. Now that's look a look. Don't want so much money now, them bitches can't see the floor. And I just do it for them days we was poor. I never been religious, but Christians make me walk different. Mama said I'm a winner, but hey, she never saw me winning. Found out I'm pushing packs like UPS in the winter. And she won't trip and she just told me go get it. Leave this in the comments on the schedule on the top. Fiddle, I never been Scotty Pippin. My last name should tell you that this ghost shit was written. A lot of niggas went missing in that thickness and trenches. But I just stayed down and played my position. Now chauffeurs on the west coast, rolling up the best smoke. Dreamed about these days, now I laugh, but this ain't no joke. Two daughters that I gotta spoil, so nigga, I can't go broke. Two dogs that I gotta feed, nigga, just like Rollo. I'm closer to my dreams, now that Drizzy Drake shit. I never been an actor, but I'm always sticking the scripts. Remember being out my element when homies on licks. Nowadays I keep a stick, they say I look like a... I'm trying to get the brother to understand, but he don't get it. He stuck up in the 80s like his ass addicted to thrifting. Them players different, archetypes the same, just wish that he listen. You got the world at your feet, my nigga, just go and get it. See me, I'm on the... Scream by any means, can't That's be no I'm baby fine. joker and let them hoes get in between. Niggas think they big mama real. I call them y'all ming, I'm all in traffic within the deal. I love it when she sings from the back, pulling the tracks. I'm in the chicken wing, so many O's move out of my trap. I should call it Krispy Kreme. If you ain't talking money, my nigga, then I ain't heard a team. When I tell you I'm double blessed, that's just what I mean. When I say I'm double blessed, that's really what I mean. My mom and my pops in the sky watching over me. So I really feel like I'm double blessed. No doubt. Hey, oh, how's beat tough? Trying to tell these niggas, bro. Double blessed, bro. Women, too. So when they feel like they got one up, or they feel like they got over, and I don't got them at no certain type of way, it's just because a nigga really blessed out here, and I know what's coming next. You feel me? I'm destined for great. Hey. It's cool. I mean, I think like it's not like under a five. It's not, but it's like not like amazing. It's like it's like not amazing. It's like a five. Um, it's a five. It's like a five. It's all right. Um, it's a five. I don't give a damn. Everybody, I'm live on the tube. If you know that right now, then you should really be making your way there. I want everybody to make their way to the tube. That's the main place. What it is. Tomorrow is going to be, and I just got to be consistent, man. I got to just go live, bro, and then figure it out while I'm live. Because I realized that that's how I'm going to build this shit up. Um, I don't want to have to email everybody and wait on everybody to send. I don't want to do that. I just want to press a button and then you guys come to where I'm live. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to do. But um, other than that, get ready for the next song. Everybody write ready in the comments. Pull up the tune! Pull up the tune! <laughs> platforms of
for the fifth time. I told you, like, it's weird. Like, if I'm on any other platform, I can't even hear. Like, I don't get it. All right. Eventually, it'll kill, click in. Hey, Facebook people, why don't y'all smash the damn um, share button and smash the like button and tag people and do a whole bunch of crazy shit so they bring a bunch of people on my life? Hey, TikTok, why doesn't... I just got to... I don't even got no questions for TikTok. TikTok irritates me so much. Um, Yeah, let's get right on to the next song. If you don't want to wait in line, you can pay for an instant play at any part of my show, and you can do it on the website right now. Same website that you submitted your music into is the same website. You can get an instant play. And T Swin is up right now with a song called Sabotage. Rate this in the comments on a scale of one to ten. Anything under a five goes in the trash. <laughs> She ain't bi, but she bipolar. Got PTSD from constantly getting screwed over. Get with me for your destiny, child. You need a soldier. Lay your head on my chest, or when you just need a shoulder. I'm here. Need a pass in the ghost and real. Baby, in this ride, come outside, girl. The coast is clear. That sneak nigga, weak nigga, put his hands on you. Now look at me, look at God, put this plan on you. I'm gonna stand next to you, I won't stand on you. It feel good when you got a real man on you. I don't need them all, I just need a real one. He was fucking up, so I had to steal one. You mind? Don't be looking for the bad or expect the worst. Sleep on beauty, let me kiss you and remove the curse. All you gotta do is talk to me, tell me where it hurts. Put on some music, spread ego, let me spit a verse. She like to self sabotage. Lord. Cause she been scarred by her exes She like to self-sabotage I give her love, they gave her hell That ain't me, I'm from Texas She like to self-sabotage Lord, cause she been scarred by her exes She like to self-sabotage I give her love, they gave her hell That ain't me, I'm from Texas I got the main course, huh? Now the side piece I don't want a headache, I want my piece Tag grown, girl, do you need a high seat? You talking big shit, but you only five feet Come on, I ain't doing you wrong I know that if you was Medusa, you'd turn them to stone But you ain't gotta play no games, so turn on your phone Girl, I'm something like the dollar, I sit on the throne And disrespect is some shit that I don't condone I know we both got other things that we can focus on Check your tone, baby, girl, I ain't the enemy But your attitude is messing with the chemistry It's awesome, I'ma get you before you get me I know the loss, so I'ma give you more than six feet Time and space, I remember every time in place, but you ain't the only one that don't got time to waste. Rate this in the comments on the schedule on the side. Lord, cause she been scarred by her exes. She like to self-sabotage. I give her love, they gave her hell. That ain't me, I'm from Texas. She like to self-sabotage. Lord, cause she been scarred by her exes. She like to self-sabotage. I Texas. Uh, all my real Texas niggas in the comments, you know what I mean? I know y'all gonna stand up for this. Seen like a little kid look me in my eyes. <laughs> I looked out. He looked back at me. I'm like, oh, look here, Eha. Um, Texas, do y'all got any explaining? Um, do y'all like that song, Texas? Um, anybody want to speak up for that song? It sound like. It's like a song he do for your wife, but it's like your wife. So it's like nobody want to look because it's your wife. You feel what I'm saying? It's like you got her on stage trying to show her. That's what it is. It's like you doing a song for your wife, trying to have her twerk. And we like, nah, we don't want to see that. That's between y'all. That's how I felt when I listened to that. It's like between y'all. Like, you should have never even brought us into your world. Yeah, I think you might have told us too much. You ain't need to tell us all that. Hey, I feel like he told us too much. If you think he told us too much, it's right too much. 
You might have told us too much. You might have really told us too much, bro. We might have not asked you all of that. Yeah, like he telling us all this personal business about him and his wife. Yeah, you know I be with my wife. We come on, bro. We don't. We don't really. We ain't trying to hear that. Niggas is single in these streets. Bro, he trying. He he trying to crack on us because niggas niggas be singles in these streets. <laughs> Say like, nah. Um, nah, but you doing songs for your wife, like not like wifey. You doing songs for like your whole wife. That's like personal. Bro, that's too personal. I don't think you should have brought us into your personal world. I think it was too much personal things going on, and I think you need to get to y'all. But uh, what do y'all think about it, man? Was it too personal? I think it was too personal. I felt like it was like, 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 um, aunt, auntie relationship. They've been around each other for hell of years. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Of course, I'm accepting submissions. The info's on the screen. Yeah, you know what I just learned? Anybody that asks me if I'm taking submissions with the words on the screen, something might be wrong. Something just might be wrong. Something might just be wrong. Like, on TikTok, I, I really don't get that like why do you guys see the words on the screen this nigga said can i submit i said yeah this nigga said where can i submit to ladies and gentlemen this is what they see on the screen and they're asking me where can i submit to look what it says on the screen bro look but look what it says bro just look what it says come on bro like it, it does <laughs> like look at what it says on the screen over there like i really I'll be running out of patience with TikTok, bro, because I just don't get it. It's like it's right there. Yeah, not not we, because this is not a we thing. I can read the words on the screen in a matter of one second. Want your music or beats reviewed live? Submit here. Richhousereviews.com. Free submissions. <laughs> Niggas be like, oh, do you um er want uh um your uh or uh uh um music or uh uh um or uh um uh, um beats uh 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 maybe i don't know i'm not sure hold on i don't know i'm still thinking right now uh maybe reviewed uh i don't know hmm maybe we should just do that i don't know ww dot mm, i don't know maybe rich house dot com hmm, free submissions oh man this is so much to think about maybe that's what's going on because i don't know what like if i see it it's just that's why i'm like i'm about to just start going live and just making it easy just just go live and then when people see me live cut on other platforms and send them the email whatever but arguing with people on the live about what you see on the screen? No. Telling you I'm only doing the show over here and you don't know that by now? No. All right, you guys ready for the next song? Everybody write ready in the comments. Let's get on to the next song if you guys are ready for the next song. Let's get on to the next song. Um, DT still here. Rate this in the comments on a scale. I don't want to send anything under a five. The trash. They say only the strong survive. Yeah. But shit, I'm still here. Everybody on Facebook, share that live up. Crazy, 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 crazy. And bring your ass over. Look at they where you from, huh? Bring your ass over to YouTube. Yeah. No, I'm not looking back. I'm looking straight ahead. Do what I gotta do to make it to get to the break. Cause I want that good life. Far from the hood life. Funny, my kids don't even know what the hood life. And that's how it's supposed to be. When having no other way. Cause where I come from, niggas get high and die every day. I end up in the pen. Future gone with the wind. Feel like we born to lose even though we were built to win. Facts on top of facts. Ain't no denying that. Nah. 
selling this bullshit, but bitch, I'm not buying that. Not chasing no kitty cat, I'll hit it, then give it back. Keep thinking I'm heartless, that's all right, I can live with that. Take a good look at what it took to get where I'm at. DT, it's DT where the winners at. Dude, I wasn't supposed to make it, but I'm still here. My spirit, they tried to break it, but I'm still here. My life, they tried to take it, but I'm still here. They want to see my spot vacant, but I'm still here. Still here. I wasn't supposed to make it, but I'm still here. My spirit, they tried to break it, but I'm still here. Still here. My life, they tried to take it, but I'm still here. Still here. I'm still here. Still here. I'm still here. Still here. I keep on grinding and keep on pushing. I just shot a lot of bricks, but now I'm switching and switching from concrete to cushions. Hell, I even slipping. Swishing and swishing. Face me in his face, and I'ma shine like a star. Now I'm focused on the bay. She focused on the bay. But my come with a bank. And hooks come with a tag. If I'm a fall and start to lag, then I ain't listening. If it ain't about no money, on my positive positioning. I'm lifting them. Two fingers up in the peace sign. Truck and do she pretty packaging with all the traffic in the truck is loose. Hold the juice in the cool aid I ain't drinking it. It's MOB, but it's OB. I know you're thinking it. I'm swinging and swinging. Top open bang it. I got the extinguisher for the smoke. If you bring it, I smoked it and claimed it. Sparked it and flamed it. Captured and tamed it. Developed it and framed it. Not sang it. I wasn't supposed to make it, but I'm still here. My spirit, they tried to break it, but I'm still here. Still here. My life, they tried to take it, but I'm still here. Still here. They wanna see my spot vacant, but I'm still here. Still here. I wasn't supposed to make it, but I'm still here. Still here. My spirit. Rate this in the comments on the schedule on the time. Still here. My life, they tried to take it, but I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Everybody on Facebook, share that live up. Share it up. Share it up. Share it up. I'm about to literally just start. Yeah. Anyway, song was outdated old schools. Feel like 1991 or 89. Um, I feel like I was in the uh about to be in Heavy D and the Boys. You sound like Heavy D and the Boys, but it's just one boy. And no boys, it's not plural, it's just heavy D and the boy. Um, yeah, I get slim, I get, I get slimmer thug, <clears throat> I get slimmer thug, I get slimmer thug, um, a one, slimmer thug, gotta get a one on that. If you agree, you think he should get the same score, just write slimmer thug, because he ain't got no business out here acting crazy like that. Slimmer thug. I'm going to bed. Yo, Cody, are you a girl or a guy? Cody, are you a guy or a girl? Cody, are you a guy or a girl? Cody, are you a guy or a girl? Please tell me now in the comments. You're a guy. Why are you telling me goodnight? What the fuck are you mean? You came over here to tell me goodnight. What are you talking about, bro? I'm a boy, Damon. That's insane. Like, what are you doing, bro? Why are you telling me that? I don't care. Yeah, he telling me goodnight, bro. Come on, Diddy. Cool out, Diddy. Come on, bro. Real niggas don't tell niggas goodnight, nigga. Hi, G. Hi, my nigga. Nigga, don't even say nothing. Just get up. Just being nice. Cody, don't tell me good night, nigga. Niggas don't be saying good night. Hey, yo, mo, mo. Matter of fact, I'm looking. Hold up. Where the guy? I need a guy in the comments so I can. Uh, yo, Mr. Ebox, if you came on the live, right? And I was like, yo, Ebox, oh, you about to leave? Yo, good night, my nigga. You be like, what? Shit, like, it feel weird. It's like, yo, what's going on over here? Don't tell me goodnight, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas stop. Don't be telling me goodnight, bro. I don't like that. Come on, bro. I don't like that, bro. There's no reason for you to tell no grown ass man goodnight. Yo, Rock, you be telling niggas goodnight, bro. Hey, Casanova, stop playing. Stop. <laughs> hey, yo, Casanova, stop playing, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be putting that. Don't be putting that emoji in the comments either, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all tripping. Talking about good night. You ain't got to tell me good night. And you ain't got to call me twin. And you ain't got to call me a nickname either. That sounds insane. Good night, twin. Uh, good night, gang. 
Niggas be on TikTok like, yo, good night, gangy. Hey, yo, yo, y'all be telling Nick, like, when you talk to people, you tell them good night. That's God's good night. It's insane. It's an extra ditty. Nah, bro. Good night is insane, bro. Good night is wild. You don't got to tell no other man good night, bro. That's not even a part of the gang. Come on, gangy. You tripping, gangy. Gangy, you tripping. For real, gangy tripping over here, y'all. Gangy out here tripping. Uh, Millie Twin Rocker. You better not be, do a Millie Rock. It's called Rich Boy, Millie Twin Rocker. Millie Two Time Boy, Rich Boy, you know what I'm saying? Millie, Millie Two Time, nigga, Millie Rock Boy, you know what the fuck going on, boy? Rich, you out here, boy, you know what I'm saying? Your name is Millie. Sure, yeah, if you feel like your music is better, you better send it in now. G got it, you out. Yo, good night, bro. <laughs> Yo, G got it, good night, bro. Yo, G got it, you leaving, good night, bro. Good night, gangy. <laughs> Good night, gangy. Why you leaving, G Gotti? Come on, gangy. Don't leave yet, gangy. Oh, my God. Rate this in the comments on the scale of one to ten. Oh man. If you want to know his lyrics, um, all you got to do is like stand up, pick your keyboard up, and just fling it. And whatever your keyboard press, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, so if y'all looking for the lyrics, because I know some of y'all want them lyrics for yourself, right? Some of y'all want them lyrics. So if you're looking for them lyrics, what I need y'all to do is, um, you know, that's the way you got to do it. You got to take your keyboard and just fling that shit. Yeah, you just take your keyboard and just fling it, and whatever it press, you got bars. It's like AI. It's like ghetto AI. It's like ghetto AI. It's GI. G A I. It's like that. Um, but yeah. So what y'all think about that? There you go, Casanova. There you go. Bars right there, Casanova. Them bars right there. Does anybody want to try to write the bars that he was rapping? Yeah, I want to try it. Take your keyboard and throw it. See what y'all come up with. Write in the comments, y'all. 
I'm about to pass for the ground and back and hit it back. Hold the niggas, stop and shine and bump the nigga, get on that. Blow my back on, get on that. Hey, we'll get on that. Blow that pussy nigga down and get on that. Tell that bitch, dick too. Tell that bitch, rip too. Just the e box, you gotta throw your keyboard, sir. Fuck you, man, what? Rich nigga ever, what? Little rock. The fuck went on, what? Yeah. Um, his rap name is Millie Rock. Make sure y'all look him up. Um, he sounds very serious. Like he really does this. Like, um, you know, he's like a real artist. Um, I totally give him a a one out of ten. Oh, a point one is what I want to give him, just to keep him going in the right direction. Because I think that he has some kind of, you know. Potential to go places, just not here. He does. He has potential to go places. You can go anywhere in this world if you want to go and be a leader. You can be a leader, guys. I believe him. I believe him. He he has potential. We we're just not looking deep into his potential, guys. We gotta like think about it. He does have potential somewhere. Um, you guys ready for the next song? Everybody, right? Ready? Pull up the tune. Pull up the tune. Pull up the tune. If you're sitting here and you don't want to wait, this is a great time for you to go get an instant play. You can do it on the website. It's the same place that you uh, submit for free. Same place you could pay for an instant play if you want. Um, anything under a five, trash, con- trash concito. Uh, Trey, Bo- Trey Dreams, Boom Boom is the name of the song. Rate this in the comments on a scale of one to 10. See if we can do better than a Gotta get one. the bag. Get the what? I gotta get the bag. Get the what? I gotta get the bag. Did you see with I'm a dad, I'm a dad, nigga, fuck around the smack, nigga, niggas out here talking, yeah, they moving like some dad, niggas, mama in the crib, bitch, about to fucking trash, nigga, the job that I got with you on your motherfucking ass, nigga, man, wow. was days I was skipping in the class, nigga, wow. uh, bitch, fucking kicking in the class, nigga, what? Uh, bitch, shaking ass in the class, nigga, what? Uh, you know what I love about this song? That, like, even Caucasians can sing along. Everybody sing Pull along with it, okay? Tune. Everybody. Pull I love that all the cultures together, we can all sing Talking, yeah, they moving like the bad niggas. Mama in the crib, Come bitch. I'm about to fucking trash, Come nigga. Come on, everybody, sing along. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. All my uncle Caucasian singing along right now. We love y'all. She said, Oh, you that nigga in the back, nigga? Cause he in the cut, he ain't moving on your ass, nigga. I'm a different nigga, yeah. I need a fucking bad nigga. Nigga, talk him about you more motherfucking static. Boy, static. Bitch, is she really fucking plastic? Is she smell like a catfish? Talk about she motherfucking had it. Took my phone, talk about what had happened. Bitch, that's the motherfucking happens. And you is a motherfucking happens. You think I'm with a bitch, but I'm fucking relaxing. Run into this money, yeah, I'm trying to get my laps in. Niggas steady talking, yeah, these niggas, they be capping. Bitch, suck my dick, don't choke, no gagging. And my brother steady motherfucking pistol packing. This bitch wow. think I'm cheating the whole time, I'm playing Madden. Oh, she no. on a bag, so we hit Steve Madden. Speeding on the highway, yeah, this bitch is spazzing. I'ma be a star oh, like my first name, Patrick. Party took the wheel, and he motherfucking crashed it. Right in the grass, bitch. And my name, Trey James, I be fucking rapping. Fucking tell by the way that I rap it. Bitch, she a savage. Mama is a savage. Bitch, heartbroken. Yo, how many niggas do you think he said in the song? Like, can you guys guess how many times he said the word nigga in the comment and on that song? Can anybody try to guess the amount of times? There was like 173 uh, niggas in that song. Like he said the word N word like 198 times. He at least said nigga on that song at least. He passed the limit. 
I don't even think you could use that uh that many niggas in one song on um Apple. They're probably not gonna push it on Spotify for him at all. Yeah, he's he's doing a lot. Um, but yeah, guys, on a scale of one to ten, um, you know, I actually feel that he does have a future in the music industry. He does. Oh, he does. He does. He does. He does have a future in the music industry. He has a future. <laughs> he got a future. Yeah. He does. I know we got to keep it PG, but um, we got to keep it PG. So yeah, he he has a future, right there. We got a future for him too. He can be that man. Anyway, you guys ready for the next song? Everybody, right? Uh, ready in the comments. Pull up the tune. Pull up the tune. Yeah, you're tripping. But he said the word, nigga, like. 178 times like i can't even do that like it, it just was um black history month i feel completely wrong i'll fair on just nick, 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 nick. that shit is just insane like he really od like he just like they must have just gave him the pass they must have gave him the m bomb m bomb pass nick, 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 nick. So Funny runner, rate this in the comments on a scale of one to ten. The artist is so true. Anything under a five? Nicka, 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 nicka. All right, let's get on to the next song. Anything under a five? Bro, that beat is so fire, man. I didn't know that we were playing fire beats, too. Man, these beats are just amazing. Man. Wow. Now we're playing the heat. Now we're playing the heat. Hot. Astronauts. Now, year, year. Uh, send it in. Info on the screen, buddy. And share the lava up like you're crazy. Um. I feel really bedazzled. I know you guys don't understand it. Coin hard. You think that that beat is fire? Okay. Um, coin hard. So look, I'm gonna put the link in the comments, and I want you to spit a verse to it live right now. So like, we could just so you could just prove to us that it's just so fire. So yeah, uh, why don't you just spit any verse that you have in your collection to that right there? The link is in the comments, bro. Just send it over, dude. The link is in the comments, bro. Whenever you're ready, dude. I want to hear you rap over this beat right here, live on air. Wow. You in the hospital? Get on camera. What you talking about? You ain't about to mess up the cupola on, bro. Bro, you better get on camera. You can use the phone in the hospital. You think you're going to mess something up? Bro, get up on camera real quick. We can hear a little beepy beepy in the background. Beep. Beep. Yeah. What you doing? Get on. And rap on this beat from the hospital. Oh my god. Thank you. 
beat is so hard, bro. Hey, this beat is so fire, bro. It's so fire. You can freestyle right now, nigga. Fuck you talking about? You talking about you in the hospital, nigga? You got to do this shit for life. You got to do this shit. You ready? You ready to die for this shit? Nigga? Fuck you talking about? You ain't ready to die for this shit. You ain't ready to do it. All the niggas in the comments, y'all ready to die for this shit, right? If you ready to, if you, if you ain't ready to die for this shit, right? I am, right? I am. If you ready to die for this shit, come on, man. You want to act like you ain't ready to die for this shit? You got to be ready to die for this shit. You got to know when your song get played, if you get trashed, you just felt like you dying inside. He said, I eat pie for this shit. <laughs> Nicky, you know how many push-ups I had to do for this shit? It's like, no. Uh, uh, is, there a Trevor, uh, is there a Travis Little in here? Travis, your song is up. Everybody rate Travis in the comments on a scale of one to ten. Anything under a five goes in the fucking trash. Song called Jasmine. Anything under a five, y'all go in a trash, my yo. A real trash can, my yo. Ain't no drop it, give me 50. Hell no, nah, nigga. We riding with Kendrick over here, cut. We riding with Kendrick over here, cut. Cool out. If you don't get to mm, whoa, na 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 na, whoa, what the fuck? So let's skip the conversation. Whoa, use my face as your throne. Cause every queen need a placement. Now it's not wrong if we're grown, so why are you making complicated? You know I know what you want, so baby, why the hesitation? We don't got time to waste it, so let's get that conversation. Oh, use my face as your throat. <laughs> Now it's not wrong if we're wrong, so why are you making complicated? Uh, you know I know what you want, so maybe why the hesitation? We don't got time to waste it. What you mean you wanna do it with the lights on? When your skin so brown and the moonlight is coming through the window, make you shine like a diamond. See, it be so tragic that dudes cannot read the room Tell when the mood is right on Time to be charismatic, man, they started at the spazzy Get to smash when she really want the slow show Smile gon' take a bite with a little joke Oh, I know you never done this before I could tell by the look on your face You scared as hell, don't be afraid, oh this is just a game that I always love to play. It starts with four plays, so let's skip that conversation. Whoa, use my face as your throne, because that means we need a placement. Now it's not wrong if we're grown, so why are you making complicated? 
I know I know what you want, so baby, why the hesitation? We don't got time to waste it, so let's get that conversation. Uh, oh, use my face as your throne, cause I've been queen in a place, man. Now it's not wrong, ever wrong, so why you making complicated? Uh, you know I know. That's a girl or a guy? I thought that was a girl. Is that a guy? Oh, I mean, it feels all right. It's getting so smooth and it get it so tight. Slippery when wet, I got to grab on the thighs. So get so when I look in your eyes. Right. I look in your eyes, I eat your holes and eyes. Mouth open wide, why you screaming for God? My bad, I had the headphones off. Coming in bra, she called me daddy because I like to take charge. I like to take charge. I eat the boss, put it on my plate, baby. I eat it all. Spin your mouth, choke you. Tell me who is it for? Uh, Say the most, baby. I'm going harder. So let's get that conversation. Uh, use my face. I don't know about the second verse, though. Need a uh, now, it's not wrong. Now, it did sound study, though. It did sound like real study. Like, it did sound like a like study. You a stud? Oh, all right, Travis is stud, man. You know, we don't, it's all love over here, bro. He is stud, man. It's all love. I know it. I know. I know you had like a little, sound like a stud a little bit. Yeah. Um, I got like a six. Oh, you got kids. Oh, all right, mission abort. My bad, y'all. He ain't no stud there. My bad. We, we thought he's a stud, so we just trying to show respect. My bad. He like, I got kids. Oh, you a stud with kids? All right, Nate, let's chill out. You a stud with kids? We don't want to disrespect that man, that woman, that man. You know, that man, that, that, woman, that man said you got kids. Woman, man. All right. Yeah, you did kind of throw us off a little bit. Studs <laughs> do have kids too, though. I'm just saying, right, Brian? I'm just saying. He tried like studs don't got kids. Hell yeah, studs be giving that thing up. Well, I'll give you a six. I'll give you a six and a half. It felt uh. It felt good. I just think the second verse kind of threw me off. That's why I'm at a six. Yeah, that second verse was like just too extra. It was just too much going on. Uh, we fuck on you, you know. You know we don't be gay. We don't be gay bashing over here, bro. You straight. <laughs> yeah, y'all ready for the next song? <laughs> he said, "Yeah, you did good, sis." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all ain't shit. Like, yeah, man, that's a good song, bro. Says, for real, for real. I don't know. It it sound like it did sound like Bilal and Macy Gray. That's what I'm trying to say. It like it did sound like Bilal. But it did sound like Macy Gray. Like, all right, let me see if I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. All right, let me try this again. Hold on. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Corey, you can pay for an instant player. Shut the fuck up. Pay for an instant player. Pay me right now so I can play you or shut the fuck up. Pay me right now. Go to the website. Go ahead, shut the fuck up. So let's skip the conversation. Whoa, use my face as your throne. Cause there been queen in a place. Now it's not wrong, ever grown. So I get- Yeah, it do sound like it don't sound it sounds study. It do sound study. Yeah, and even though you sent it yesterday, you could still pay for an instant play like anybody. You, you don't have to wait, bro. You don't have to wait. You could pay and cut the line and go right now, or you could wait. It's on the screen. You're going to act like you don't know the screen. You're going to act like you didn't read the screen. You're going to act like you didn't see this on the website. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, so he not trash. 
I know him, but it did sound a little study. It did though, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. Sound like some that line did sound like like it did sound like you really do be tackling bitches in the street. Like, yo, I eat the shit out that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like some studs I know. They called you little music soul child. Like, like, yeah. It wasn't shit. It's to use my face as a thong. Yeah, that made me feel like he's a, um, a brolic um, stud named Bertha. Yeah, she like when people, when females use her face as a thong because every queen needs to sit on the face. I thought he was like, I don't know. <laughs> he said, eat a Frank. Travis, why you told him to eat a Frank? That's what I'm saying. This shit that you be saying. You just told that man to eat a Frank. Hey, grow up. Grow up. <laughs> Nigga need to grow up. He caught you little music so child. <laughs> he caught you little music so child. <laughs> he told him to eat a Frank. No. <laughs> you better fight back and he said caught you little music so child that's fucked up he ain't respect you when he said it travis little in the comments man i gave him a six six and a half man he can sing his ass off man you know we got to talk our shit Niggas think, niggas think because they send their music and we ain't going to talk shit. We talk shit to everybody. All right. You ready for the next song? Everybody ready, ready? Niggas say they love music soul child. <laughs> music soul stud. <laughs> Yo, you shit. I'm telling you, bro. I would have thought it the whole time. to be like, all right, sis. I'd have started calling you sis and shit. Where you going, woman? You better get back in your motherfucking cage and stop playing. It's like, nah, say like, nah. It's like, nah, I'm joking, y'all. I'm lying. I'm lying. She ain't in the cage. I'm joking. I'm joking. Y'all yeah, already know what time it is. Quarantine. Imagine I just jumped off. Hey, you better get back in that cage. Hey. Better go and get back in that cage now. Dre, you a fool for this one. Let him check it out. Claude. <laughs> he said, hello. Oh, I'm on one. Who do I call when I scroll through my phone? I don't know, bro. All on my own. Who do I call when I scroll through my phone? I don't know, bro. All on my own. Who do I call when Who I do scroll it? through my phone? Who do it? All on my own. Who do I call Who when do? I scroll through my phone? Are we locked in like a chain? You can crack me like a safe. People ask me. Nigga, that was my girl, nigga. Response. I ain't got it in no cage. Right Baby, I just need a break See, from the team. Me and my girl got savage ass jokes. Like a wind chime through the wind. Do you love me? Do you love me? Now I need to love myself before I walk the walk. Oh, I need to love myself before I walk the walk. Need to love myself before I walk the walk. Yeah, what on yourself? Hey, oh, who do I call? What did he just do to himself? Oh, eat it on yourself. All on my own. Who do I call when I scroll through my phone? All on my own. Who do I call when I scroll through my phone? All on my own. <laughs> registered. Who do I call when I scroll through my phone? 
All on my Try to call her uh, Fentanyl Man. Oh, I scroll through my phone. Fentanyl Man. All on my own. Who do I call? Who do I? My phone. All on my own. Who do I? That was insanely terrible. What did you guys think about that? You guys like that vibe? Hallelujah. Who do you? He got the nerve to add a little M piece. He tried to add a little. Look. <laughs> he got the nerve to try to light the mic on fire. Yeah, now burn the damn studio down. Get the fuck, get the fuck on. Yeah, good thing you did it. Yeah, burnt the whole studio down. Get the fuck on. Leave that studio exactly where it's at. You leave it there. Let it burn. This nigga just lit the damn studio on fire. <laughs> that nigga was not coming. I think it was not coming at all. Uh, John, John, and Don. Wow, that name is so creative. I always make time for you, featuring Divine. It's on SoundCloud. Hey, how you doing, baby? How you doing, you know baby? I see you all the time. But sometimes I can't always be there because I got things to do. But don't be alarmed because you know I got to have you in my life. So I constantly make time for you to see your divine self and all. It would be a shame if I didn't. You know I love to be around you. Your smile, your energy, your style. The way you make me feel, love. The way you make me feel, love. Strong. Now I can go on and on, baby, oh, but my God. let me really show you how deep it goes. Wow. Because I decided to put it all in a song for you. Oh, man. It's just the way style flows. Like, why are these niggas trying to run the whisper? Yet the vibe's not caught up. I'm in love with the way he talks to me. Rock with me. Slide with me. Share my heart and after life with me. I'm playing DMs, matter of fact. I crave the others. Just please don't put my heart in attack. I'm just trying to make time for you. So, baby, come on. Let me ease your mind for you. This won't take long. Ooh, you know my smile can't hide from you. You know it can, baby. When we together get a high from you. You make me feel elevated. I love the sun, I love the shower, yeah. Yes, I do. That's why I'd rather take my time with you. Always. And I let it get high with you. So bring it over to me. Bring it over to me. I guess wrong when you need me. I know you really want this feeling I know And the way you look at me is so pleasing Ooh. So bring it over to me Your presence baby. really got me through the ceiling I had to take a picture of how I feel right baby. now I guess wrong too Of course, love, believe I'll make time for you I can't even go one day without thinking about you Understand that you fill up my mind with cute and funny things And also in you windows of the sexual kind You got my back, so I got yours too I'm the one man that you can always depend on, boo I go to great lengths just to make sure you good And remember all your favorite things so I can see you smile When I come to you, yeah, I'm searching for a smile It's imperative that you know you got a hold on me I felt that from when we talked from the start Now why would I fuck up a great thing by no communication and leave you in the Dark. Fuck that. See, I'm hooked just like Peter Pan. I want to leave Neverland and you're my Wendy. Except I'm going to go above and beyond with you because I don't want to disconnect from your hand. And this next part, I hope you understand. That I hate to see you leave, but I love to see you go. When I see you move that thing, it's always a slow-mo. When you step up in the place, you make it louder than so. Some jealous when you're with me because you're fine and they don't got your mojo. You keep it real and tell me what I need to hear. That's why I think I hope something. You always got my ear. In addition, here's the quick shoulder to crown. Do all that I can to make the muscles in your face light up just like a fire. Ooh, you know my smile can't hide from you. No, it can't, love. 
When we together get a high from ya. I love the sun, I love the shine on ya. Yes, I do, yes, I do. That's why I'd rather take my time with ya. Oh, yes. And I let it get out of ya. So bring it over to me. He's the deadler. I guess wrong when you need me. I know you really want this feeling. And the way you look at me is so pleasing. So bring it over to me. Your presence really got me through the ceiling. I guess wrong when you need me. I guess wrong when you need me. How friend need Yo, y'all don't need friends like those, bro. You don't need no friends that's gonna lie to you like that. Oh, I like that one. Her friend. Her friend ain't shit for that. Her friend ain't had to do that. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, now we're not now we're making a hit. Her friend got caught capping. Um, I give that song a point. A point. That's it. A point. If you agree, just write point. And make a point never to do that shit again. So it was fucking awful. Yeah, you you Uh, okay. Anyway, let's get on to another song. If you don't want to wait in line, you can pay me right now for an instant play. That'll get you played right now. Um, other than that, yeah, the last song, I gave it a point. Gave it a point. Let's, let's paint the town red. <laughs> Baby girl, it's time we paint the town. Put on a sexy outfit and have this picking you up around eight sound. I know you would have loved that super breezy. Don't worry, the night will be full of adventures. Baby girl, just take it easy. We can drink and go dancing. We can even catch a movie. Sit up at a room. My bad. I think I, oh, damn, my bad. I done picked this nigga by, yeah, nigga that snuck his ass back up on there. My bad, yeah. It's like that nigga by accident. He need to get the fuck. He need to grow up. Travel distance is the next song. Rate right? this in the comments on a scale of one to ten. That nigga need to grow up. He just slid up on a. He tried to slide up on the song. <laughs> I'm 
the flow. Tell me what you want, you can get it all. What you want, you can take it. If I give you my heart, don't break it. Brown skin thing, I think she's just making it. I don't know these hoes, they basic. You might be the one for me. You might be the one for me. Can you keep me company? When I'm on my lowest, don't run for me. No, 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 no. Say, show you don't run. Say, you burn on my day like the sun. And I get that you wanna have fun. But I'm out the way, I'm just stacking my fun. I realize I'm not the one that you need. I'm just the one that you want And it's a lot of shit that come from with me I don't think you ready for my love uh, uh, I know I ain't perfect, baby And many times I fucked up I try my hardest to show you some love Baby, why you acting all stuck up? Say, I wanna take a chance with you Baby, I don't wanna damage you Show you what a real man can do Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh It's too much, baby, it's just too much Yeah, I know this shit get rough But baby, I'm deep Love. And when I'm alone, baby, you don't wanna be missing. Let's keep it together, baby. Please don't get this down. Um, he's laying in the bushes singing this to a woman. Like he is laying in the bushes singing this to a woman, and I'm just like mind fucked right now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna be live long. Okay. I am here just to play music and go. So if you're thinking about getting an instant play, you better get it now. When I decide to leave, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to hear, hey man, what about me? None of that. You can pay me for an instant player. You can wait till I pick you. That is your choice. Um, what's hilarious is me. Um uh yeah. Um, that shit was terrible. That was terrible. Yeah, that was fucking terrible. I don't understand, like, how you expect me to actually really... Rate that you hollering all on the song and shit. Like you're hollering on people about, ooh, I miss her. Like, that's just not what I do. Nah, I'll be getting tired of that shit. Like, that shit, I don't want to hear that. Um, oh, no, I don't do this. Uh, anybody want to get their music played before I go? Not going to be here for five hours at all. Don't plan on doing that. That's what I know. This niggas are sitting here for mad long, and I'd be like, "Yo, you didn't play me." No, you might as well get an instant play now, because I'm um bored. Hmm. 
No. Um, y'all, y'all waiting on me? Uh, Now, how the stream ain't freeze? Uh, I, I want to know who's getting a, a instant play. What the fuck? I've been sitting here all this time waiting on... um, Not waiting, but I've been sitting here playing all this music. It's like, okay, anybody want to get an instant play? Everybody was waiting for a handout. That'd be a waste of time. Oh, well. You know, in the beginning, there's a bunch of people like, yo, man, play me, play me, play me. All right, get in, boy. Everybody quiet now. Oh, well. Oh, so you want me to just sit here and just keep playing music until everybody gets their music and everybody is happy? And yeah, that's what you wanted. Okay. Anybody getting an instant play before I go or no? 
other than that, I had a great time. I had a good time, I guess. Niggas think shit funny till there's no music playing. And I ain't playing shit. Just didn't put this video out. That's the real joke. Niggas be thinking I'm playing until there ain't no music playing. We sitting there in pure silence. <laughs> That's the real joke. Niggas thought I was playing. <laughs> Anybody gonna get an instant play? All right. Well, I'm here. I'm gonna talk on my phone, not on the mic. There's no point.
Yo, on gangy, man. On gangy. For real. On gangy. On gangy and 20. For real, that nigga's tripping on gangy. On 20 and gangy, you niggas tripping. On, on, on Mama's 20 and Gangy, y'all niggas tripping. 20. Hey, yo, on 20 and Gangy, y'all niggas is tripping. Hmm. Gangler 20 Nation. Of course. I'm keeping it Gangy 20. Um, Anybody getting their music played? Guys, I think I'm, like, going to start, like, uh, not start, but. Yeah, I'm just going to stop paying attention to just anything other than people that pay. Because I realize, like, it's like a, a real, like, hey, man, play me, play me, play me, play me. Fuck that. You know other people are waiting. You know everybody else want to get played. Who's paying me? Like, let's cut the bullshit. Other than that, we'll just be playing a bunch of bullshit. And I just find myself, what I do is I measure everything off the first hour. If in the first hour all the songs are ass and y'all niggas are still telling me, Gangy, play my music. It's like, okay, you might as well just get an instant play. You know? Why would I sit around here and that's for other shows. When you want to go to shows and call a nigga Gangy and 20 and he plays your song because you give him a pet name, go do that. But I'm, no. I have a whole platform to run. Pay me for a play. Or that's it. I mean, why should I highlight you? You don't give a fuck about what I'm doing. You just want me to show you love and no, I'm good. So sorry, gangy. Can't do it, gangy. I would love to, but I'm not. I don't want to do it. Now, any gangies in the comments want to get their song played or no? You know, there's no debate no more. There's no need to argue no more. I got to stick to what I'm going to do, which is start going live when I said I was. Other than that, wasting my time on here, nigga, I got a bunch of videos I can fucking do. And I actually slowed down. This this month was a little slow. And I'm going to just step it back up. But for me to sit here and y'all think that all I... <laughs> My, I'm like, yo, man, I really just want to play everybody's song. Nah, fuck them. Suck a dick. Niggas really want to get played. They would have got played. Other than that, we're just sitting here. Everybody's waiting for a handout. Everybody's waiting for me to push them to the front. And I'm good. Everybody waiting for the same thing. Hey, man, show me some love, bro. Right? Hey, man, show me some love, bro. Come on, man. Show me some love, bro. Play my song, bro. I'm telling you it's the one. All right, pay for it. Yo, bro, I don't... All right, well. No, man, I don't know. Yeah, you know he's slow. Look, gangy, play my music. See? Everybody got this mindset like I own something. I don't owe your nigga shit at all. Jump along. Get an instant play. Go to the front of the line. Pay me. Other than that, no. I'm good. I don't show fake love. Hey, Facebook people, go to YouTube. I'm cutting Facebook off, too. Yeah. I got yeah, yeah, wasted my fucking time. Um, when I come on here, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get everybody over here, and I'm gonna say from the beginning, who's paying to get their song played, and start off with that vibe. But this whole, I'll wait, I'll wait. No, I'm good. You don't have to wait. Pay or you're not getting played anyway, because it just it don't work. It's not like it's it's not like. You know, we're going back and forth, bro. I'm like showing love and you're showing no nah, niggas act like I'm wrong for having my prices on the screen that's always on the screen. Well now you either gotta pay attention to them or just no music to play. 
I don't need music to play while I'm off. So, I'm not um, playing anything. I can hear my voice. My voice is good enough. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Uh, hmm. Let me see what video could I watch though. Might as well watch a video. Yeah, I should just watch a video. That's probably cool. Hmm. What could we watch? It's a bunch of things to watch in the world. Oh yeah, this shit was crazy. I nah, that's corny. I don't want to watch that. Any videos that y'all heard about that we should watch? I'm not playing no music. And you want to get your music played, you're going to pay me. Other than that, fuck your music. Um, No, I'm not paying. I'm not playing anybody unless they pay me. And they pay me, I'll play them. And then I feel like it's an even exchange at that point. I'm showing you love. You're showing me love. But for me to sh sit here and be acting like I, uh, old, like, um, like I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Somebody just jumped the line. You guys ready for the next song? Everybody right ready in the comments. Let's get on to the next song. No, what's going to happen is this, ladies and gentlemen. I've been inconsistent this month. I really was. I don't know what it was, but I was. And now I realize I just have to get back on point. And I'm going to get back on point. And my main thing is just working on my live, making sure that my YouTube live is the best YouTube live that I can get. Ways that I'm going to do that is just going live at a certain time, which I'm about to start doing and doing that. Starting from there, 12 o'clock hour, 1 o'clock hour, pick a time, going live, leave it at that. And that's what I'm about to start doing. And at that point, it don't really matter about the show necessarily because I'm not here to just, I don't give a fuck about playing everybody's music. It does nothing for my fucking mode. You want me to play your music and give a fucking listen? Pay me. It'll get played right now. Other than that, everybody could leave it. I wouldn't give two shits because it doesn't add up to nothing. A bunch of niggas that got a handout means nothing to me. Now, um, we got a song by Kiana LaShawn. Beat made by Malcolm, song called Caution. Rate this in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10. Anything under a 5 goes directly in the trash. What is love without trust? Look what you're doing to us. Don't mess around and lose it. Proceed with caution, caution. First things first, get out your feelings. Feelings, get out your feelings, babe. We agree to relations, no ceilings. Ceilings, no ceilings, babe. When you first met me, I was single. Didn't give a fuck, cause I was single, babe. Now you're doing shit that hurts my feelings. 
Don't get it twisted, I don't need a man Love like this is truly hard to find It's something you get, something surreal once in a lifetime Love like this is truly hard to find. It's something you get into the world and the light of it. What is love without trust? Look what you're doing to us. Don't mess around and lose it. Proceed with caution, caution. First things first, we trip, trip. Slipping, about to lose me, babe. Love was built off commitment. Now I'm starting to have resentment, baby I'm about to leave, you got me tempted, tempted To fall back and be a savage, baby Don't trip, nigga, don't slip Don't get it twisted, I don't need a man Love like this is truly hard to find Cause it's something you get, something so real once in a lifetime Love like this is truly hard to find Cause it's something you get, something so real once in a lifetime What is love without trust? Look what you're doing to us Don't mess around and lose it Proceed with caution, caution Um, caution. Uh, do I love the song? No. Um, definitely like the song. I just don't love it. Like it. I don't love it. Um, I don't think it's trash or anything. I just think that I don't love it. I don't know. I think I liked it more as it went on. I think that you really shine more towards the end of the song. Um, I'm at like a five and a half, six. Um, and the writing was cool too. I just think that like you picked it up more towards the end. I think that if you'd have came in strong like that, we would still be thinking about it. But I don't think you trashed them. I don't think you trashed them. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's um hush up. But I don't think it trashed though. I do think that um it uh, the mix could be great and all that, but I think that the main thing is the song. Like if you wanna mix a song, you wanna mix a song that's done to your best ability, and I think that the song is cool. She could probably do a better song. You know, she could do a better song. So I think she could do better. You know what I mean? Like the mix could be better on any song, but she needs to do a better song. But even if the mix was A1, I don't think it would really increase. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I found the video that we could watch. Um, Do we have any parents in the comments? I need you to write hashtag parent gang in the comments. If you are artist or producer that want to get reviewed, you can literally pay me now and I will load you up and give you a full review and all of that. But other than that, like, yeah, I'm about to just watch it. I'm on YouTube. I might as well chill for a second. I mean, I don't have to just sit here and play a bunch of people that don't even want to invest in themselves. That's a waste of my time. So if you do want to um get an instant play, you can do that. Uh, I have a video. It's kind of deep. It's kind of deep. Any, if you are a parent, right, I am. If you're not, right, I'm not. If you are, right, I am. If you're not, right, I'm not. How about that? If you're a parent, right, I am. If you're not, you're not. Everybody else is going to be quiet. Well, 
I got a video that we could do. I'm going to do it right now. Um, it's a story about it. Hold on. It's about a dude. Minnesota. The case of the Minnesota assassin. YouTube is the number one site for millions of creators online. But as more people flood to the platform, assassin. The beat maker and engineer. Yeah, I think that the beat was good. <clears throat> I just think that she just needs a better song. Anyway, uh, yeah, she's a good singer and shit. She just needs a better song. I'm going to take the chat off the screen for a second. If you guys have say anything that it's worth me highlighting like this or like this, I'm going to put it on the screen and whatever. Talk about it. All right, this is dope. We're going to watch this. Um, why should I watch it like this? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it like this. This unsuspecting man is about to show just how much of a monster he really is. <laughs> On September 12th, 2021, this man, 38 year old Antoine Suggs, assassinated four innocent people in the middle of the night. Our small team of investigative reporters has got. All right, did y'all just hear the first part of what this of what they just said? Did y'all, you know, did did, did y'all hear the first part? Y'all following the story, right? Following in the comments if you following along. Four bodies, four, not one, not two, not three, four. Y'all following along? I just want to make sure I got niggas on here following along. No. Gathered the footage and case details about Antoine and how all four murders came to be in order to present the whole story in its entirety for the first time ever. This all started very early in the morning a few days prior on September 8th. Antoine arrived in Minnesota via airplane from his home state of Arizona, and footage shows that nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. But that changes very soon. Antoine is picked up by an unknown person and leaves the airport with them. A few days later, on September 11th, late at night, Antoine revisits the airport in a new luxury Mercedes SUV. Later investigations report that this car was recently loaned to Antoine. It is unknown whether or not Antoine is connected to a larger organized crime group. While it's a logical hypothesis considering the value of this luxury car Antoine is now driving, we have yet to unfold the full story of this case, as it is only just heating up. We don't know why Antoine revisited the airport, but the surveillance footage gives us a glimpse at his passenger, who bears a striking resemblance to one of his future murder victims, Nitosha Lee Flug Presley. If the passenger is indeed Nitosha, then this was one of the last images showing her alive. According to a complaint filed by an anonymous person, a witness said they saw Antoine and Nitosha taking shots together at a bar just hours after he left the airport. Records also show that Nitosha's aunt told investigators that Antoine and Nitosha were romantically involved. Putting all this information together, it's becoming more and more likely that this passenger is indeed Nitosha. After a night of drinking, uh -oh. it is believed that Antoine and Nitosha went to a residence in St. Paul, where they spent time with three other people who would soon become Antoine's other three future murder victims. They were Lois Foreman III, Matthew Pettis, and Jasmine Sturm. Just Bro, four people. Hours later that same night, now the very early morning of September 12th, surveillance footage caught this altercation sometime around 3.30 a.m. in St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> we hear gunshots and then that same Mercedes car speed through the streets. It is clear this is when the murders happened. But what Antoine does after this is quite shocking. Uh-oh. I'd get a little bit deeper. On the 
the same day around 10 a.m. After driving around for many hours trying to figure out what to do with the dead bodies, Antoine decided that he needed help hiding the bodies. Y'all do know. Hold on. So you do know he rode around like this, right? Are y'all still following along? If you following along, right? Following. He rode around with them Jones in the car, boy. All four of them. Four of them. He riding around in the car with them. I don't know what in the hell be wrong with these niggas thinking that. How did you think that that worked? Riding around with four bodies in the car. So he makes plans to meet up with his father, 56-year-old Darren Oz. Okay, question of the day. Question of the day. I need everybody to answer this real quick so we can keep playing the video. If you are a parent and your kid caught you with four bodies in the car, do you help them? Write the letter A. Do you not help them? Write the letter B. Do you help them? Let me slide this over. Do you help them? Write A. If you don't help them, write B. He's telling you, Dad, is four bodies in his jaw. I need the help to get rid of them. Do you help? Write A. Do you not help? Write B. And tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Don't just write a letter. Tell me why. Do you get? Do you help your child or not? A, you going to help. B, you not going to help. A, tell me why. B, tell me why. It's your child. It's your C. It's called four, four of them things. He up four. He up four. Now, the question is, would you help? A, if you would. B, if you wouldn't. And why? All right, let's get back to this video. Let's get back to this video. That's a very important part of what we're doing because being a parent is a hard job, man. You don't want to see nothing bad happen to your kids, but when they do some things like this, man. I was born at a gas station during the day. Antoine's plan was to have his father follow him into western Wisconsin to a cornfield where they would find an inconspicuous place to dump the car with the bodies in it. Osborne later told officers that he had no idea at this point there were bodies in Antoine's car. On the way to meet with his father, Antoine stops at a different gas station than the one planned for the meetup spot. In this disturbing surveillance footage that shows this particular stop, you can even see one of the deceased victims in the passenger seat wow. with limp and showing no signs of life. And while those bodies are in the car, Antoine is inside the gas station paying for his gas just like it's another normal day. Yo. Antoine continued traveling to the meetup spot, moving Bro, why do you got the body in the car, in the car, and you walk into the store? Yo, this is what I don't get. The point of doing a crime is not to get caught, right or wrong, gang? You not trying to get caught. Is you trying to get caught right? I am. If you not right, not. You not trying to get caught if you do a crime. So why the fuck would you have a body in the motherfucking car sitting there just... I'm dead looking at the car. Like, what's wrong with this nigga, man? What's wrong with this nigga, man? Yo, people be doing some dumb... I mean, smart people don't do what he did anyway, so... I mean... From St. Paul, Minnesota to Dunn County, Wisconsin. This time, stopping at the originally planned gas station, we see him and his father convene at the gas station and they speak a bit before driving away. It is presumed Antoine had now moved the body out of the front passenger seat, considering his father would have clearly noticed a deceased human being sitting in the car. That is, Antoine's father is telling the truth. Again, at this point, according to the father, he did not know what Antoine was up to. However, it is reported that Antoine allegedly confessed to his father soon after the meetup that he had snapped and shot the victims. At this point, it's becoming more and more difficult for Antoine's father to deny his involvement with this situation. Uh -huh. Antoine and his father allegedly went on to hide the car with the bodies in it in a cornfield further into Wisconsin. Uh -huh. It is reported that a local anonymous farmer found the abandoned Mercedes in a cornfield in Dunn County, Wisconsin. He very quickly reported it to the police. At this time, 
No one knew of Antoine's or his father's involvement. However, we do have body cam footage that details some of the officer's experiences investigating the car in the cornfield with the deceased victims in it. Uh-oh. What they find is extremely brutal. That's where we're gonna go in right here. We did open the back door. If you need to open the back door. Do we know cool. if that one in the back on the far right is male or female? Do you know? The one on the far back? The behind the driver? I thought it was a female. So they were stiff when you moved them? Is yes. Somebody said? Yeah. I opened that door. I basically went like this and it was just you know, hard, stiff, wow. or whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, the male, I we didn't check anything on him. It looks, I thought there was like a hole. Looks like there might be blood pooling in his ear, or wow. I thought maybe that was an entry or exit wound. I'm not sure. Thank you guys. Thank yep. you. I ran out. Well, so it looks like it's an actual key story, not push button too. There's a key that. There's no keys in there. There's a bunch of blood on their shoe. See that? Yeah. Yeah, wow. it's, it's pooled, yeah. yeah. Definite uh, bullet wound to the right side of the face. Wow. Right side of the ear. Wow. On him. On the male. On the male. That's what I thought. These officers are taking careful note of entry and exit wound details for a very important reason. This detail alone is extremely helpful in determining if the murders were committed with intent or in self-defense. I mean, that looks like an entrance wound right there. It didn't look like an exit wound to me. I'm guessing she got shot in the body, though. Yeah, there's blood on her left arm and on her right, and it's old. Watch your right shoulder, man. Yep. <sighs> Yo, he getting too close up on that it's body, the boy. Pocket, Dan. There. Tried yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's tripping right now. No, oh, yeah. Male. And shot me into the head. Like, yep. There's the exit wound over here. See on the front, on the front seat? Yeah. Right below, right where the shoulder rest is, that white stuff, is that brain matter or skull particulates? Wow, hard to say. Wow. Cause she wearing her seatbelt? Still, no, I couldn't tell if it was, it was just behind, it behind, her. behind her. Behind her, just probably so they don't want it uh, beep. Cause the weight's in there, so it beep. I want to know where the gunshot wound is on this other gal. How do you have exit wounds and there's no damage <laughs> in the vehicle? Well, then, and but it also, if it's a headshot, wouldn't she have splatter? I mean, you got splatter on him, but it's just weird. Well, his his is coming from his nose. Wow. You know, that's yeah. that's just draining from the nose from the brain. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, well. Did we look through the... Well, let's just get out of here, I guess. We'll go talk to Kyle. During later investigations, Antoine's Arizona ID card was found on the floor of the car. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. listen, listen. <laughs> Bro. How do you leave your ID in that car, bro? Why would you leave your ID in that car, bro? Like, your ID? Your ID? Your ID in the car with all of this crime going on? Oh, my God. Your ID? Yo, he is tripping. Covered in blood. This pointed the officers directly to him and later his father as well, as more information was discovered after they reviewed the previously shown surveillance footage. Officers arrested Antoine's father first and then charged Antoine with four counts of hiding a corpse. Oh, my God. Antoine, now back in Arizona, turned himself in to the Arizona authorities. Antoine would now be brought back to St. Paul, Minnesota, the city where he committed the murders. This is where his dramatic legal trial would take place. 
Over the course of the next few days of Antoine's trial, he claimed, incredulously, that he acted in self-defense in the killing and transporting of the four victims, which the prosecutors stated that they find improbable. Antoine has had a lengthy history of breaking the law, including multiple instances of unlawful possession of a firearm, wow. possession of marijuana in a wow. vehicle, driving with a suspended license, and much more. Even though Antoine had never racked up any charges nearly as serious as murder, this made it quite clear that Antoine is no stranger to criminal activity. During the trial, Antoine never gave any reason other than self-defense. He said the four victims were attempting to rob him, claiming he was the victim in this situation. However, wow. going back to what the police learned about the entry and exit wounds of the bullets in the bodies, it's obvious this is definitely not a case of self-defense. Even though no one believed Antoine's excuse, he still gave no other reason as to why he did this. So we may never know his true motive behind murdering the four innocent victims. The jurors, after six hours of deliberation, decided that Antoine was found guilty on all four counts of second-degree wow. intentional murder and was sentenced to 103 years in prison. Bro, that's what I find is crazy. This, this is what I find is crazy right here, okay? You do know that people get... Uh, life is 25 years. You know that? I think life is 25 years or 20 years or some shit. And that's, you know, the max that, you know, think about crimes. I mean, the worst crime is that, right? So he got 100 years off of four. He got 100 years off of four. This is why I say, like, the the legal system is crazy. Off of our four people, bro, 103 years. Four people's bodies, like like four people's lives. He only got 130, 103 years. His father, Darren Osborne, was charged with one count of aiding an offender. After pleading guilty, he was sentenced to five years in prison. These are the jury verdicts that show Antoine being found guilty on all four counts of murder. Wow. Judge Japal Harris, the judge who sentenced Antoine, told him this. Each one of these individuals deserves that you serve time for each one of them. What do you believe could have possibly been Antoine's motive for killing these four innocent people? I mean, I want to add my two cents to this. I mean, we can't say nobody innocent because we don't really know what happened. You know, unfortunately, the, the people that was involved in the story is not here. Uh... What I mean, I, I'm going to assume I think he might have got into it with one person. He did something to that person. And the other people was there. And I think that's pretty much what it was. Um, Yeah, that's the only way, because it's like you ain't going to the situation wanting to do something to four people. But things change, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, what if you chill with them and they trying to line you up? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what if he felt like he had to, you know, defend himself? But my thing is, I just don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I'm only left to assume about uh, what I think happened. Nobody just gets pissed off and does four people, man. Like, that's a lot, yo. You Four people, bro? Four people is a lot, bro. That's a lot of people, bro. Even to let it off at four people. That's a lot of people, bro. Four people is insane. Four people. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know. It's kind of hard. Like, you want to help your kids and all that. You want to be there for your kids. But he got five years because of his kid. He got five years, and he older. You know what I mean? It's like five years at that age is insane. All right, I got another video that's kind of crazy. Did y'all hear about a place called Slab City? Have you heard of Slab City? If you did, write a thumbs up. If you didn't hear about it, write a thumbs down. It's called Slab City. Hell yeah, the lawless town. That shit crazy. Uh, y'all ever heard of Slab City? It's the last lawless town in America. Uh, let me show you how this shit. This shit is crazy. I'm going to show you how this version. So, I'm going to show you how. Oh. I'm going to show you how this video. And then... Um, if y'all are interested, then we could deep going on another video. But yeah, I just want to show y'all this shit. In the dry desert landscape of Southern California, exists a unique community that rejects conventional norms. Slab City, sometimes referred to as the last free place in America, stands as a testament to the human spirit's ability to carve out a niche in the harshest of conditions. This remote squatter's paradise, built on the remains of the Second World War military base, is a melting pot of drifters, artists, retirees and individuals seeking an alternative way of life. Slab City's roots trace back to the 1940s. Originally, it was Camp Dunlap, a training facility for the United States Marine Corps during the war. When the military decommissioned the base in the 1950s, they removed the buildings but left behind the concrete slabs which once formed their foundations. It didn't take long for enterprising individuals to see potential in this abandoned land. By the 1960s, RV owners started to take advantage of the free camping spaces. Over the decades, the number of seasonal visitors grew, and with them, an intricate self-governing community took shape. Residents of Slab City or Slabbers come from a myriad of backgrounds. Some are escaping the burdens of modern life, while others are drawn to the allure of off-grid living. A significant portion of the population are retirees, often referred to as snowbirds. They migrate to Slab City during the winter months, escaping colder climate in their RVs and campers. These temporary residents often form tight-knit communities, hosting communal meals and social gatherings. Slab City has evolved into a haven for artists and free thinkers. The desert provides an expansive canvas, with installations like Salvation Mountain, a massive art piece dedicated to God's love, 
standing as a testament to the artistic spirit of the place. Created by Leonard Knight, Salvation Mountain has become an iconic symbol of Slab City and draws thousands of visitors each year. Wait, hold on. While many come and go with the seasons, there are those who have made Slab City their permanent home, so-called lifers. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me get a video that could really like this is a little slow. Like, you feel me? It's like slow. I want to get a video that's more. All right, this is the one I seen. I'm gonna skip through this one. The Cantina Chicken Case of the last isn't one just is the like slow because it has a perfect slow roasted chicken to melted cheese. Yeah, ratio. he like a nice. That's <laughs> chicken. What brought you out here? City life just ain't for me. There we Having go. Having an opportunity to do the things that I really want to do. Now we can get not into it. Anybody tell me I can't. State passed laws saying you couldn't feed the homeless. Every single person I've talked to has been one of the friendliest, welcoming people that I've ever met in my entire life. It's been quite the experience walking around here, meeting everyone, and, and just seeing the the culture and the art that's out here. Well, it's the last resort for a lot of people. This place is incredible. Incredible. Just so unbelievably interesting. That last dude was like, crackies, you go to Slab City, crackies. All this stuff is just built by people who are living out here, most of which for free. So I realized last night, um, after I pulled one of these out, that I didn't get small trash bags. I got super large ones, which is kind of annoying because I only have a small trash can, but I whatever. I'll go right here. Okay. He built everything. And it's all closed off right now because of the rain? It's closed off because of the rain. Are you still building it up or no, just kind of maintaining? Just maintaining it. Maintaining. It's one man's uh, passion, one man's work. It'd be the same as trying to add on to the Mona Lisa. You can't do it. Is that stuff I hear off in the distance? Is that the, the military yeah. range, the bombs going they off? Still, they still do bombing up there in the Chocolate Mountains. They still fire weapons and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I read about that online that you can hear the, uh, hear the bombing range from here. Yeah, we got lightning, uh, not light, lightning, but light shows sometimes at night. Oh, you can even see, see them? Apache helicopters firing down at the crew. Oh, that's pretty and cool. We have tracer rounds. How long have you? Uh, how long have you lived here? Six years. Six years. I've what? been volunteering for the mountain for uh, four and a half. That's awesome. What made you come out here? We don't mind uh, me asking. My wife. <laughs> my wife and the laws kept changing in Florida. We. I had a small restaurant and a lawn tree service business. The state nah, well they had is lawless. saying you couldn't feed the homeless. Oh, really? And I used to feed the homeless every Sunday out of my restaurant. And one day I was delivering food to a security guard that worked in one of the banks. And when I come back, I got 26 tickets handed to me. So you think that's kind of what brings most people out here is just the um, freedom of it? I think the freedom brings people out here, the lack of bills that you have to pay. You, if you brought an RV out here and you parked right there across the street and you made a little encampment for yourself for the winter time, it doesn't cost you anything. I mean, the only thing you have to pay for is here is your own power and your own water. water. Mm -hmm. And you never get bugged by... Nobody. Law enforcement or anything? Enforcement. So I think the best way that I'm going to be able to meet as many people around here is to kind of walk around on foot and just see who I run into. Obviously within reason, he said some of the people around here are extremely friendly and some of them obviously came out here for a reason for the privacy. So we'll kind of be wary of that. But I think before I get out and walk around anywhere on foot, I'm going to drive myself around and get a lay of the land. All right, so I just put over on the side of the road again because there's no walking Everybody built they shit outside. I was getting some shots of that, but also this house right here is so amazing. It's like a rusty metal igloo. This is your project. This is amazing. It's like a it's like a metal igloo. How long did you thought about like that? What's your name? DNA. DNA. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. So how long have you been working on this? Oh, I started it actually a year ago, and then I took a break from it. We just picked it up the past month or so. You build these sculptures too? Yeah, that's what I really like to do. Those are awesome. Yeah, I really like that small one. And it's all out of Slab City uh, trash, basically. So all you find you find all this you find all this metal just out here? Yeah, from burnouts and stuff like that. All the insulation in this thing is used out of the, the mattresses and the, uh, wow. the cushions and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. Packed all it in for insulation. You know what got my brain a little like impressed by this is the fact that he built this. This is not like an RV. This is him building it. Like he actually built it. That's impressive. But I feel like if you can do that, then you know, I don't know. People gonna live how they wanna live though. 
You know, and that's another thing we got to remember. People going to live how they want to live. Still closing it up in here. This is incredible. We have a chimney in the center there. Ah, uh, fire pit here? Yeah. This is going to be well, incredible. The trees aren't really structural, but they're, they're just, just anchored in later. Uh-huh. But the structure itself holds itself. This all built out of pallets. Okay. Pallets, and I added a few long boards over the center ferry here. And then yeah. you, you plan on this is going to be where you're living? No, this is actually going to be like a little store restaurant slash okay play a cool room for the summer yeah definitely gonna, since it's insulated we're gonna put an air conditioner in here and, and i'll close this all off as well you got a you got a name for the restaurant yet i think pete's calling it the last resort i'm building this the last resort that's a good name i like that name well it's the last resort for a lot of people yeah right? that's, that's fair what well, if you don't mind me asking what brought you out here yeah the city life just ain't for me city that's what i've been hearing i, I was speaking to another guy down at the uh, salvation mountain he said the same thing just too many regulations. You know, the individual, like the person, like you and me, uh -huh. we get along fine probably. As yeah. soon as you get an organization going on, mm -hmm. it seems like it gets out of control really quick and it gets to be a problem. Yep, I agree. I'm the same way. Where they're suppressing somebody else to, mm -hmm. to step on. Well, yep. I appreciate you taking me in here. Let me uh, let me get a view of the place. Yeah. This is incredible. I can't wait to see how it looks when it, when you're finished with it. Yeah, it's, it's going to probably have murals painted on the inside. Are you, uh, are you an artist, like a painter as well? I do do that. Do use that medium mainly lately. I've been with like this metal, isn't California metal sculptures, mm -hmm. like, like what I've been doing. Lately. Yeah, those ones out there are amazing. Types of camps that are around here. Some of them are RVs. Some of them are some places that they just built off of scraps they found around in the desert. Really interesting. They even got their own uh, town basketball court. <laughs> it's so interesting to see stuff like this. Like this is honestly what I would imagine if. The world ever collapsed and we reverted back to the stone age this is kind of what you would see after a certain number of years but looks like that's a restaurant right there doesn't seem to be open oh they got a little concert hall right here a concert hall a concert hall yeah looks like this is like some sort of uh concert venue open mic every Saturday. I wish it was a Saturday. Come out here at night, check out the place, but it looks awesome. Got a whole stage up there. It's called The Range. Bunch of buses, seats. Probably gets pretty lively there on Saturday nights. All right, come to a crossroads. We've got East Jesus to the left, library and a hostel and an internet cafe to the right. And I guess this is kind of what he was saying about you can find anywhere, plop your RV or build a house and do whatever. And then you just gotta lay claim to it. Slab City Hospital. If someone takes it, they take it. I guess it's kind of, you just figure that out for yourself or something. I don't really know, but this place looked cool. So I'm gonna stop here real quick before we head down to the uh, internet cafe and all that. It's like a uh, tower that someone built, almost like a pyramid. And I tried to come in here without any preconceptions about what I was gonna see, the people I was gonna meet or what everything was gonna be about. So I'm just keeping an open mind, talking to everybody trying to get a perspective from the people that actually live here and kind of draw my own conclusions because no matter what you might read or see online, a lot of the times there's more to the story. Church of Enlightenment. Be cool to grow up in that tower. But I don't see anybody out here. They might be inside or something. Also the cool thing about this area is each house has its own identity. It's not like the cookie cutter houses of the suburbs. You kind of every single house is an individual because it's built by the person who lives in it yeah it looks like sometimes this is an open attraction to the to the public that's but crazy seems to be closed off right now yeah it says under construction up there but i just looked it up online it was built by dr spencer william brown acupuncturist herbalist sex therapist don't know if he is uh still around or if he's in there if he's out but pretty crazy structure I've built out here in the desert with, I'm guessing, no major machinery. That's yeah. crazy. Little gift shop. Pretty cool. All right. Hopefully we don't get sidetracked again. I think now I'm just going to follow these signs out over to the library and check out the uh, internet cafe because I'm very interested to see what internet that is cafe. Like. Also, it sounds like based on the language that these people are using, that this is, I've never been, but kind of like Burning Man where all of these people are in their own camps but are part of a larger camp and each camp kind of has its own stuff going on and stuff that they're doing but pulling up to the free camping internet cafe see if it's open it's also kind of weird pulling up to these places because it says internet cafe and camping but there's nobody here so you don't know if it's like someone's private camp or if they don't want to be bothered or not so a little bit cautious doing this someone's cooking something 
How's it going? It's going. How are you doing? Good. I don't give a fuck with nobody cooking. I ain't eating out there. Is this the uh, internet cafe? It is. Awesome. Is this your bike shop over here? Yes, it is. What did you say your name was? Sorry? Charlie Poe, the bike guy. Charlie Poe, the bike guy? Yes. Ryan, very nice to meet you. I'm just uh, walking around trying to meet as many people as I can. Coffee in the morning, man, at the Oasis. Great place to meet people. Coffee at the uh, Oasis, Oasis in the morning? Yes. What time? Uh, they start at 7 o'clock. So, yeah. This is the... Uh, Internet cafe. Got a bunch of seats, tables. Come here and get some work done. Pretty cool. Also, they got cats. That's crazy. How long have you uh, been living out here? If you don't mind me asking. Going on six years. Six years? And this is what you do full time out here is just fix bikes? Every day. Is that how most people get around out here is bikes? Oh, yeah. I mean, I take my job very serious. I mean, some people got to get water. I mean, yeah. you got to do it every day. If you plan on coming and just laying around, I don't think that's going to work out too good. We're just like any typical neighborhood. Up here, we have a police force, and it's us. Yeah, I heard about that online, that they, you guys burn down the houses if uh, you find out they've been pedophiles. Well, we're trying to get pedophiles. them to stop that. There's no sense in burning up the resources. Yeah. Can run them out of here yeah. and keep their shit. Get them out. Yeah, you take care of your own out here? Here, everybody knows everybody in uh -huh. some form or another. The bad people to steal and people, and we got that problem too, because we got a problem with blue pills. What is that? Is that meth? No, blue pills. Oh, it's like a downer. Downer? I mean, there's, I'm on meth. Okay. I mean, for the most part. What the hell? Come on, LG. All of us are on some type of drug. Yeah, brother, there's more good than there is bad here. Yeah, that's what this I've been hearing. Is, if this is your first time here up front around 4 o'clock, uh, Wrangler's Roost. Wrangler's Roost? Dinner, is that the you, restaurant place? Yes. Okay. How do you maintain in the heat? I mean, whatever you heard, just add a little bit more to it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's that bad. I won't pull no punches with no... It's bad. Yeah. It's, it's hot. 125 degrees. If I got gas, I run my generator. But I try okay. not to run it too much because if you run it, man, you're just going to blow it up. But yeah, I got an AC, but... I, I, I'm more avid of hot weather than I am yeah. cold weather. I yeah, same. Like weather. I'm kind of the same way. So everyone knows everyone around here. Yeah. At least the people who live it, here full time. It, at least, uh, even if you never met them. I mean, there's people here, man, I know that I've never met. Uh-huh. You know, I've heard their name and stuff like that. But, you know, most people, man, come here and I moved right over there in that spot. Matter of fact, they burned down my motor home. Oh, really? Two girls got in a fight. A girl got mad at another girl. And, they say, you know, they're burning my shit down. Is that oh, a big problem man. here, Arson? People burning down stuff? You gotta be on your toes, man, yeah. around here. But, you know, don't get me wrong, there's certain people they know to fuck, they can't fuck with, and there's certain people they, they, they know not to fuck with. People come it's up called here and Slab they City. don't want no trouble. The only yeah. lawless but, uh, place in America. I don't know how long you're gonna be here like anymore. About two days. It's free parking here in the parking lot. You can sleep here, whatever you want. If we can go check out her place as well. The further you get into this place, they kind of the the worse the roads get, and you can tell the toll it takes when it rains out here. All of these washes turn into sloppy beds. Looks like we're pulling up on uh, East Jesus here. Oh look, this shit crazy. Oh, and there's House of Dots. This AI tool will take your idea and create a complete book, complete with design, images, How's it going? Good. Are you uh, Dots, Dottie? Yeah. I heard, uh, I was talking to DNA down the street. He said he had some of his work here. I do. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, do you mind so, being filmed? I didn't no, ask. No, what's it for? Uh, it's for YouTube. I do a YouTube channel, kind of traveling around the country. I do have some of his, one of his flowers is sitting right here, which is kind of sad. One of DNA's flowers? Yeah. His sculptures are pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's pretty hefty duty, man. That's a significant flower right there. <laughs> yeah. Bury that quite deep yeah. in order to get it to yeah. stand up. Yeah, I can show you the other artwork that DNA did, and I can also show you some of my stuff. Awesome, sweet. That'd be great. Yeah, right. I've been uh, trying to get out and meet as many people in right. the area as possible and just cool. kind of talk and get the story of the people that live here and just mm -hmm. what it's like and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, up in there, that's my pool area, which normally has it all shaded and covered, and right now it's really dirty, and I'm probably going to fill it soon you fill it for the summertime yeah okay yeah and i'm probably gonna go ahead and do it soon just because it's i haven't taken it down yet and uh -huh. i might as well yeah so. makes sense yep. so got a lot of stuff here. here 
That's the Alice in Wonderland dining room. Man, it's a perfect day to come after a rainstorm when things are just a real messy. But uh -huh. <laughs> up inside there is Taxidermy Dinner Party. You're welcome to take a look at my artwork in there. Okay. So this um, is like, so you have different sections of... Yes. They're like of, immersion trailers. Immersion trailers. And this is Taxidermy Dinner Party. Yep. Oh, what in the oh, wow. hell is going on? So what's the story behind this? This is, I'm guessing, the taxidermy dinner party? It's one of them. This is Young Buck, Uncle Buck, and Grandma Buck. And Young Buck, this is a time when deer have learned how to use guns. And mm -hmm. he's bragging about having shot this poor guy. He's like, he's just filling up his gas tank. I'm hiding behind a tree. And I just blasted him right in his face. Didn't even see it coming. And Uncle Buck is all, you know, we can ethically resource humans uh, from all sorts of organizations like poverty, gangbangers. Uh, two rules. Rule number one. Everything is touchable. Rule number two, if you touch it and it breaks, tell them it was broke when you got here. It works every time. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you for the, the intro spiel. I'll go check out some stuff. Yes. Crazy amount of art here. And unlike other art museums, the rule here is touch everything. Like this fuzzy lizard. Almost looks like medical gauze. Some of the stuff out here is actually so incredible. It's like almost unbelievable. And the people, I mean, the people are just completely different than what you would expect and what you see so probably the about this place online. Like Every on single wall. person I've talked to has been one of the friendliest, welcoming people that I've ever met in my entire life. It's been quite the experience walking around here, meeting everyone and and just seeing the, the culture and the art that's out here. It's really cool. But yeah, see? Please touch. Probably the only art museum you'll find in at least North America where you can touch everything. Oh, look. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I went to the Kentucky Stonehenge, which is like a one-tenth scale version of the Stonehenge. So now I'm at the Slab City Stonehenge. This is weird. Almost looks like an elephant. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Kind of see the tusks. Snoot. They've even got their own bowling alley. I mean, what doesn't this place have? Am I allowed to bowl? You want to try the bowling alley of low self-esteem? Yes. <laughs> Bowling alley blow self esteem. Yo, I'm not picking up that fucking uh, up that bowling ball. That shit dirty as hell. That would have been a strike if there wasn't a bowling ball in the middle of all the pins. <laughs> Just got done walking around East Jesus, and it is crazy. Even in the middle of January, 83 degrees. It's actually so hot out. So they set and. This is kind of what it's become, an encampment for people who have been neglected by society or feel like outcasts. They come out here a whole and they bunch. start a new life. And as I've heard from some of the people that I've talked to since I've been here, this place is actually technically owned by BLM, which if you watch my channel, a lot of the places that I camp in my van are BLM. Um, so I'm not sure what's different about this place or why it's just gone unregulated. Maybe it's just because nobody knows how to deal with it or what to do about it because it's become so involved and so ingrained and there's so many people here and there's so many structures. Um, but typically BLM land, you can only stay out for 14 days and then you gotta, you gotta get out. But anyways, I'm getting kind of hungry and it is right around that time where the restaurant in town or whatever it is, opens up, so I'll go grab myself some food. All right, so I just drove over here to Wrangler's Roost. I'm not eating out Slab there. City. It looks like they got ice cream floats, banana splits, cold drinks, and then apparently burgers and soda, but I uh, didn't get it on camera, but there was a guy walking out when I was pulling up and I asked him if they were open and he said they're not gonna be open today, so. Sadly, there is a small market, so. <laughs> and they get left the bottom See if we can't find something to cook for dinner tonight. Beach town. This is why I stopped shopping on Amazon, and you should too. Don't spend another dime on Amazon. Um, resort back in the 60s where people would resort and became what was known as the Salton Sea. So as I said on my drive over here, this place is too to drink and is basically just sitting here. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's just a mix of places, it's people. I found it on the beach. Oh, really? So you, you find... Yeah, so that's that Slab City shit, man. I was watching that shit the other day. I thought it was fucking interesting that these people choose to be like that. Like they like, they don't, nobody forcing them to live there. They choosing to live there. They live in there cause they want to live there. You know what I'm saying? I thought that that was pretty, you know, interesting that people want to be there. I don't want to be there, you know, but the fact that they create a lifestyle there and you know, they got internet there and you know, all this stuff that they got. Nigga, you eat that burger, that shit gonna have metal in it. 
anything that you look, if you eat that burger and your stomach feel any way, you can't be mad. I'm not eating none of them burgers, bro. Them burgers is not ice cream float. Hell, yo. Them niggas can't store the food right. Hell, nah. Can't even store the food right. Eat that burger, man. I'm not eating that burger, bro. That burger dirty as hell. That shit got hella metal. <laughs> you gonna be eating a metal burger. And that nigga DNA gonna be eating that nigga DNA with them dreads gonna be trying to make it for you. Like, hell nah. He look like he just be <laughs> he be wiping boogers on his arm. He look like he do just be wiping boogers on his arm. <laughs> like he don't give a fuck. He just be wiping boogers on his arm. And dookie on his no arm. Dookie in his eyes. Yo, I'm not eating, bro. I'm not eating in, in Slab City, but hell no. Nah. They had this other lady there like, hold on. Let me see if I can find that one. She got like a mansion outside. It's like insane. It's like, oh, there you go, right? All right, this is when it gets. Having a place in the out to the slabs. Been here for about 45 minutes. Uh, I called Sophie on the inside. She said it should be moving soon. But that's people from Nyland's distant past. So everybody, the train moved, and we are here with Sophie in Slab City. How's it going, Sophie? Hi, good, good. Well, thank you for allowing us to come out and, and visit you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Oh, cool. How long have you been out here? Uh, I've been out here three years, and I've been in this spot for two years. Three so. years. What was the initial catalyst that fueled you to come out here to Slab City? Um, well, I was living in Ohio, and then um, and then I was homeless in Ohio, and then we started living in a van, and um, eventually I just, you know, through traveling, ended up out here and decided to stay out here. So um, you were one of those van lifers? Yeah, for a little while. Living in a van? For a little while, That seems yeah. to be America's fantasy now, to yeah. get a van and go across the country and yeah. live in a van. And there's well, so many YouTube channels that people are doing that, and mm -hmm. I think people are fascinated. Mm -hmm. But people are more fascinated with life out here. Really? I think she so. She don't look like she's dead. Because, I'm dead. you know, the rest of the country doesn't so have a slab city. And uh, so you That's enjoy true. it out here? I do enjoy it out here. Now, you can... Like you can squat lots of places in the rest of the country. There's lots of patches of woods where no one's going to bother you or even know that you're there, um, which I've done. I've done that also, but mm -hmm. uh, it tends to be really lonely and you dodge the cops all the time. So it's <laughs> nice that out here we have a community and we're sort of like allowed to be out here, right? Like where I live, this isn't actually technically Slab City. I'm about two miles away and it's on private property, mm -hmm. um, but there've been camps out here for decades, and you know no one seems to mess with us or, or really kick us mm -hmm. off. Um, yeah, this is yeah. a fantastic little oh, place. Look at her crib, bro. It's so different her than crib, most of the bro. people in the slabs. It's almost like a vacation spot on a tropical island. <laughs> We've done a lot of work on it. Um, when we got here, well, I started out just, I only had that one tree and I started out living in a tent and that was about all I had two years ago. And then um, this whole spot here, someone else was living here and it was just it was just garbage everywhere and junked out cars and everything. And so we put a lot of work into cleaning it up and then, um, you know, just, you think it's a spot clean. It's, it's like a movie set almost. <laughs> oh no, bro, she got a mansion. Like, like friends, the, the slab. <laughs> Thanks. We just got this little garage area and the sink and everything. We just got that built um, a couple weeks How ago. Cool I think. is that? You could almost put up a big 
like cloth screen here and get yourself a projector and have movie night out here. <laughs> that would be neat. That'd be neat. We need to work on putting a roof over it is I think our next thing because that'll be important in the summertime. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Dot, she's got a really neat thing. Have you ever visited her pool? Yeah, yeah. And where she's got drapes uh -huh. and drapes and layers that keep things cool in the summer yeah she's got a cool spot over there with her little she, workshop she, she, in the pool area the like, hey dot <laughs> we'll, we'll see you soon <laughs> hey dot so um, so what is um so when you first came out to the slabs you said you lived in a tent mm -hmm. uh, what was the biggest challenge that you had when you first came out here biggest challenge that i had living in a tent because mm. it's a big it change be of the lifestyle. biggest challenge well, I was like, I'd already lived in a tent and I'd already like been homeless and lived out in the woods and built my own camp in Ohio. So that was actually a lot harder than it is here because it was really cold there. Yeah. And um, so I don't, I don't know. So um, you were kind of accustomed to off-grid living? Yeah. In the yeah. first place? Um, I think not having a vehicle is probably the most challenging part because it's, you know, it's two miles up to the slabs. It's two miles down to Nyland. So there's a lot of walking involved. Yeah. And, and most of the people out here that I found that have vehicles, they, they just become thrashed. Yeah. Before you know it. Yeah. I've, so many people have said, yeah, this was my car, <laughs> and it's just sitting there, all the parts are gone, mm -hmm. and all of that. It's not, it's not yeah, it's, it's hard on cars, <laughs> all the dust and dirt and, you know, the, um, yeah, the lovely maintenance of the roads out mm -hmm. here as so, well. So where are you from originally? I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, lucky Ohio. So, so you just lucky kind of up and left? You have brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah. I've got a, I've got a brother. I've got uh, two got step siblings, lucky. And, you know, mom and dad. And, I got um, a, I've got a daughter out there. Hi, Coraline. I got a, hey, Coraline. I got a, <laughs> yeah, she was. But yeah, this is amazing. And, and you have some musical ability, too, from what I Yeah, have I can heard. play the piano a little bit. Well, maybe you can demonstrate a little bit sure. for us. Uh, well, you want to give us a little tour of your, your place here? Not, not yeah. too intimate, of course. But sure. Got to have your privacy. Lucky be oh, I like that. this already. Thanks. I made all of these. They're all books oh, yeah, that uh, I read, and then I... I folded them up and they kind of look like little lanterns. Wow. Bro, this is insane to me. Like, like everybody out here, like they all dance to the beat of their own drums. Yeah. And that's what I find so refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's definitely cool. I've, oh, I, love I made that. that out of a mannequin and then I just dipped some sheets in uh, paint, paint and water half and half. It's it over, kind of made it look like a Greek statue. <laughs> yeah, a Greek statue meets Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's kind of cool. That's one of my favorite things that I've the made. The sexy Statue of Liberty. Uh -huh. We've got our little water feature going on there. Bruh. Hey, wow, this is very Lord of the Ringsy. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I see a hobbit running around here. <laughs> That's a wonderful compliment. <laughs> yeah, it's so neat. Oh my goodness, flowers! It's eclectic. It's. I really like this little oh, place you have. How here. do you cover? Yeah, this is a little bench that you can. Yeah, it's a little swing. Kind of swing on. And we've got a lot of um, like solar lights and stuff. So at night, with night, it's got lights up and everything. So it's pretty cool. Oh, how neat. This is our living room. And then if you come through here. She said this is our living room. This and that's just the, the bathroom. It's there, but we don't need to put that much <laughs> that's attention cool. to it. A oh, little walkway. Mm -hmm. She got cake too. She tries, she tries, she got slab cake. And then we haven't done anything with this tree yet, but I kind of think I want to put formal dining room in it because I just slab think that'd be cake, kind of anyone? whimsical. So this is your plot too? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, and your garden? Yeah, we got a little garden. We just started it. Neat. Uh, and here's my kitchen. It's... Bro. So you've got this separated into little rooms. Yeah. I feel like Hill Hauser on California's gold right now. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I found a gallon of pink paint out in the desert, and so uh, I just kind of went so with I it. So I see you have Hell there. Is this uh, <laughs> Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Chef. <clears throat> wow, how cool. Yeah, and the sand is very beachy. Yeah. Yeah, when that flood came, we got a whole lot of sand. We didn't always have this much sand. Uh, that's uh, that's still kind of a work in progress over there. So this is where you go. You want to be away from everything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like a bathroom thing right there. It's going to be a shower. Oh, neat. Um, we, we just don't quite have it all set up yet. Cool. I say cool a lot. I say cool way too much. 
He said, cool. And this is your music room? Yeah, that's my piano. Um, and that's it's just a, like a little closet over there. What is your typical day like out here in the slabs? Like when you get oh, up in the morning? I mean, when I get up in the morning, it's not nearly as exciting as you're going to want it to be because I just like I make coffee and do the dishes and let the dog out and water the plants and read books and, you know, do art just like everybody else. Yeah. Do you <laughs> yeah. still work down at the, the little gift shop? Mm, I haven't been there for a while, um, but I'm working on getting some more, some more stuff together so I can start selling some art again. Um, do you have a, do you have a, um, like a cash app? I have a, a cash app, yeah. Uh, what I can do is I get maybe if get out here because oh, you're right man. next to the canal area. That flood on September 1st was bad. It took, I mean, almost everything we've built has been since then that we've had to do. Like we dug out this whole area. I mean, the sand was, it brought in three feet of sand. Um, the whole canal was filled with sand. You could walk across it there for a while. So a lot of the stuff that I had ended up way out there in the desert, um, but that's all right. Yeah. You know. I know uh, down, down the road in Angie's place, her road was all oh, washed yeah. out. Yeah, our road <laughs> washes terrible. out, and half of it breaks off down there every time it rains almost, and they keep rebuilding it with sand, um, so it keeps happening, you know, yeah. but um, well, you're a trooper, we've learned from it, you know. Uh, now we don't really keep a whole lot out in the middle here, which is right where the river comes through when it does rain. Um, so I can hear right. steel drum music in the background when you see this. <laughs> Little tiki torches. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have this walk-in closet before the flood that was really cool, and I built the, built the whole thing out of palm fronds and saran wrap. Mm -hmm. And it was like you'd walk down a couple levels, and it was like real neat in there, but it got filled up, uh, filled up real high with mud, and so I had to just rip the whole thing down because you had to like get on your hands and knees and crawl into it after the flood, and it was just no good. <laughs> so we've got a real treat in store for us today. Sophie plays piano, and she's going to play a little tune for us. So exciting. I got a little treat for you guys. It's so exciting. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. And thank you, Sophie. And remember, Oh, yeah. She, I told y'all she had a mansion. She had a slab mansion. So she had a mansion in the slabs. She had a nice little mansion in the slabs. You heard? I thought it was interesting, though. Like, you know, I know I be cracking a lot of jokes, but I, I wouldn't crack jokes on people. I feel like if you figured it out, figured it out, figured it out. You know what I mean? You figured it out. Who am I to judge you? Like I said, America Slab got talent. I mean, it's not even that. I mean, I feel like, like she said, would you rather her be laying on the street? No. Would you rather come out the store? She right there? No. Nope. She ain't bothering nobody. She way out. She way out in the desert somewhere. She ain't bothering nobody. What's crazy, though, is when she meets somebody while she's out, like, we can go to your house or you can just come to mine and you drive there at night. You heard? That's where it gets insane. You drive there at night. She's like, yeah, I live over here in the slabs. She's like, all right. But, nigga, you don't notice all of this at night. You heard? You don't notice that. You won't even know that you're in a like a, a, a igloo. So you go up in there and shit like, yeah, you know, it's crazy. Seemed cool, you know what I mean? There's a lot of wind on me last night, but it was cool. And then you wake up and realize that you've been walking through the sand the whole time. Just, that's what I'm saying, like, Terrell, as soon as she make that right into the slabs, you like, oh, what the fuck is this? She like, yeah, this is my spot down here. Then he, he she go to the bathroom. He come out. She's like, what are you doing in my bedroom? This is the living room. This is my bedroom, and that is the dining room, sir. She's like, could you get out of my dining room and go into the living room?
Yeah. And then when it rained, that shit put the living room in the kitchen. He said, only sins. <laughs> Bro, there's no way that you're going to tell me, like, you're content. Yeah, hey, yo, hey, she's going to tell me she's content. He said, only slabs. <laughs> Bro. My nigga, I will be mad as fuck if I hit that and wake up and we using the slabs. Or you wake up and like you 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 got to pee. Nigga, when you wake up and you got to pee. So look, put it like this. You don't went over there. She done fell asleep, dozed off. You like, uh, where's the bathroom though? <laughs> so now you like, uh. We're the bathroom. So now you walking around looking for the bathroom. And she like, yo, get out of my living room. <laughs> she like, hey, get out of my living room. Don't pee in there. Pee over here in the bathroom. You like, yo, bitch, do you outside. Nigga, getting her pregnant is like, you're going to have a slab baby. Now you have a slab baby. Yeah, she like, yeah, third tree on the right. That's me. That's my spot. Like, you're not get you're like, that's what I'm saying. Imagine you chilling, y'all all drunk. All right, I go home with you. And then you get there, and it's like. Slide, baby. Slide, baby. Slap baby to go. <laughs> Slap baby. Slap baby. Bro, you got a baby mom from the slabs, bro. And you know she love, you know she ain't. She don't feel no type of way about that shit. So she like, hell yeah, I'm a slab. I'm from the slabs. If you got a slab, baby, that baby come out smoking crystal. You heard that nigga like, yeah, man, here, I don't do the pills. I smoke the crystal meth. For real, the statue of slabberty. Slabberty. Statue of slabberty. That's insane. Slab baby, slab baby. Imagine that, like everywhere you go, you're known as your baby mom is a slab. She wears shirts that say "I'm from the slabs." <laughs> oh, shit. Every time your baby mother goes out, she has a shirt that says "Slab gear." Slab gear. Slabber. Why, baby? If the baby, if the baby come out smoking new uh uh menthol reds. Slap, baby, slap, baby. Yeah, the baby come out. He said the baby come out with it one tooth. Baby, first word is slap, baby. When the baby come out, it be like slap, baby, slap, baby. What a deep ass voice, slap, baby, slap, baby. Nigga, I'll be mad as hell. My baby come out smoking menthols. Smoke them menthols. He's three years old. Smoke them, <laughs> smoke them menthol reds. Come on, man. Come on, man. Chill out. It's third day that the baby alive. He, you walk in the room like, well, it smell like cigarettes in. That nigga smoking red, menthol reds. He can't even walk. 
You heard that nigga can't even crawl or walk. Nigga, head be like that. He smoking hell of my thoughts. Nigga said he just know how to champ him out and smoke cigarettes. That's it. <laughs> all he do is champ mouths all day and smoke cigarettes. That nigga can't, that nigga can't mouths with a pencil all day, like a pen. He got a pen that he ch- Hey, let me use your pen real quick so I can freak this man. And they could be like, let me freak this man. <laughs> All right, let me freak that man, cool. Like a real slab baby. Slab baby to go. All right. I think I had a good time today. Um, I really don't want to fucking... Uh, I got to stick to my gun just tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will go live at the same time. Just see if this works. I'm about to get offline. Shout out to everybody. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here.